It's not that one picture. All right, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my other content. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Time for some fucking Master Show. Previously on Master Chef, no on my asshole. Are you out of your mind? The remaining home cooks managed to catch the judge's attention. Are you too? Some for good. the right reasons. Absolutely beautiful. And Damn, I still can't believe uh, Alvin was home. What are you home. thinking? Trying to serve us raw food? I would send you home now. Instead of and Max. the home cooks got a chance to show off their sweeter yes. sides, <gasps> which led to some bitter results. It's like I've just gone to the doctors for a skin graft on my butt. Ew. And an elimination that shocked the everybody. Boat. Alvin, the time is done in Master. Chef. Tonight, 14 home cooks find themselves in uncharted territory. Welcome to Point yeah, Magoo. What do you want me to do? Do we need a what? tutorial? I need to prove myself so these other scumbags don't discount me. Scumbags. And for one home cook. Are they really scumbags though, or are they just competing against you? Really getting better? Well, Maria, you can always hang out with us. We're, we're, we're here for self improvement. Tonight will be their last time cooking in the Master Chef kitchen. I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter so don't with me you're a fighter don't fuck with you i'd whoop your ass i'd beat you black and blue bitch a fighter almost board. 30 miles I from do. the master chef kitchen the man, remaining 14 competitors find themselves on the california oh. coast with no Good idea shit. of the colossal cooking challenge so like she does not look tough for a one punch and i'd probably kill her the beach and i'm thinking this is awesome knock those crooked teeth though i have been Jagged missing British nature teeth. so much in this competition I don't like the beach. I don't like anything about the beach. Okay. That is the biggest fucking red flag ever. I don't like the beach or anything about the beach. Bro. Ew. Kill yourself, Max, in Minecraft, you fucking pussy. It's just boring. Doesn't like the beach. The beach is boring? What do you do? Like, go play cricket or something? Can we make the trek up this little dirt path? And at the top of that dirt path is literally picnic tables, a Harley, and some food like trucks. And I'm starting to put two and two like together. Oh my God. That's a beautiful area. Oh my God, oh my God. There's a California is wild. <laughs> That's where I'm on the ride for sure. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's Joe? You, dang, bro, Gordo looks pretty cool on a bike. <laughs> That's funny. Joe. Of course, Joe pulls up on the scooter, bro. Gordo always looks cool. Rolls up on Honestly, it. Joe looks pretty cool on that. Kiwi Herman looking Vespa. He is Italian. Waiting for him to get his little. <laughs> Imagine how embarrassing it'd be if like Joe's like pulled up, he like wrecks it. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey, listen. That may be fast, but this is stylish. <laughs> I fuck with best buzz. I like scooters. I think they're cool. They're goofy, but they're cool. Welcome to Point Magoo and the Pacific Coast Highway. Okay, this challenge is not going to be an easy ride. An hour and a half Good from one, now, Joe. 101 motorcycles exactly like will be coming this way. And they'll what be ridden by some super hungry bikers. Gordon Leather. Your task is to give every one of them a, a hearty tomorrow. sausage sandwich. Oh, yeah. A hearty so Do you guys fuck with sausage sammies? But how many of us actually make them from scratch? Because that's what we'll be doing today. Making a sandwich would be easy. I'm immediately worried because I don't know how to make a sausage. You'll be split into two teams. Each team will have 90 minutes. We'll give you all the meats and spices and vegetables you'll need to make the most amazing no sausages first. and a stunning, tasty topping. I'm from Texas. Wait, is he talking about hot dogs? I have biker friends. I know exactly what those kind of guys like to eat. Shut the Each fuck up. Biker will taste a sausage from the blue team and a sausage from the red team. You don't know then no real bikers. They will Shut vote up. For their favorite by getting on this amazing chopper and revving either the blue handle for the blue sausage or the red handle for the red sausage. The first... Wait, it has two throttles? What kind of motorcycle is this? Is that, is that how all motorcycles are? Sausage Sammies, yes. This team to hit 51 votes Funny will one. win this challenge. The losing team will face a pressure test. Uh-oh. With that comes minimum of one elimination. Damn. Tracy. The stakes are and high. Esther, the two best dishes in the last challenge. You two are now the team mm. captains. Yours with sausages. What's your best meal? What's right, your best sausage meal? I am feeling extremely nervous because I know that 
Either the wind falls on my shoulders or the loss falls on my shoulders. Okay, Tracy, fall your shoulder. first person you're going to pick for your team. I'm picking this person, Chef, because I think they have amazing flavor profiles and holds up really well under pressure. Okay, who is that person? It's Alejandra. Eggs and rice. Esther. I'm choosing this person because he's Bro, familiar with hell? making so sauces. Basic. And I need someone who can do that because right. I have no idea. Why would you who admit that to that? Guy? It's going to be Derek. Yeah. Christian. Fuck you, Christian. Esther. Bro, we don't I'm like Christian Adrian. anymore. Adrian. Jenny. Good night, LCP. I appreciate you hanging out. Jenny. Jenny. Aaron. 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 Wow. It's gonna be Ben. Hey. I know I can cook with these people. They're good people. I would not have wanted to They're be on the blue people. team at all. Oh, her Tracy. and him and Jenny are fucking. Susie. Susie. I'm really, really surprised that Tracy didn't choose me earlier on because I am a great asset. What does it matter? You got picked. Shut up. It's not that Christine. serious. I got picked last. <laughs> With the last pick. Okay, Tracy. Oh, shit. Which way are you going? Giuseppe's Italian. Aren't Italians known for their Italian sausage? What's up, Gab? Bro, Gab, you were playing Apex and not playing with me and Ben earlier? Fuck off. Never had gumbo, so I can't make that. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Yeah. Damn. I picked last. I really don't give a I need to prove myself yeah, that's so these other scumbags don't discount me. Okay, Max, apron on. I'd rather have Giuseppe, but hopefully I can keep Max in check. Teams, your time. Sorry, I'm kidding. Starts. Oh, we didn't play for very long. Now. Off we go. Let's go, let's go, let's Fuck go. that dog shit. Both yeah. teams of home cooks have 90 minutes to choose their meats and then season, case, and cook their sausages. Choose plus the a meat. delicious topping before the bikers arrive. The first team with 51 votes is the winner. First thing we have to do Dude, is chat, remember last night we saw a sneak peek of who left the MasterChef kitchen and I paused it? We gotta look at the outfits at the elimination test and we'll know beforehand who it is. Let's do Italian sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have sun-dried tomatoes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The blue team is fast to decide on a plan. We are gonna go with an, an Italian Black, sausage. like, knee-level so like knee boots. So they were, what she was wearing. Kind of honey type of sauce. Caramelized onions. Caramelized onions. Caramelized onions. Caramelized onions. Caramelized onions. Peppers, onions. Onions. While Tracy is taking charge of the blue team, Esther's team is a committee of oh, decision they makers. Oh, they look fucked. Wait, 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 stop. What kind of meat? Pork. 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 A little bit spicy, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. But we gotta make sure it's not too spicy. A bracelet we and a bracelet. We decide on a spicy sleep, yeah. sausage. Right. So what's gonna be on the topic? The jalapeno and his avocado cream sauce mixed together. Are bikers cool with avocado cream just, sauce? Yeah, I had to like be like, guys, guys, these are bikers. They want beer, beer, beer. Is is that true? I guess every guy likes beer, kind of. It's kind of like a stereotype, but like, I feel like you could be a biker and like avocado. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's like, dude, bikers only meat and meat sauce and beer. No vegetables, nothing green. Like, what? Beer. It's gotta be in the sausage. You gotta boil it in beer. Beer, sauteed onions, red pepper. The red team will be making a beer-soaked pork sausage with drunken onion and pepper relish. Max and I are getting prepped for the sausage. Derek is working on the seasoning for it, and the rest of my team is working on the prep for the topping. Nice, nice. The blue team is making a spicy Italian pork sausage with caramelized onions, peppers, and molasses. Molasses? We immediately get working. Bro, bro, Tish asked me last night if molasses was poop. He was like, doesn't molasses come from poop? Like, what the fuck? And they'll vote for us if they're hammered. True. Oh, yeah, true. Give them shots. Ritty. Thank you for the gift, bro. I really fucking appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, Renta, bro? Guys, we're so close to our goal, too. Four away. I fucking appreciate all the subs tonight. You guys are fucking awesome. 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 Love you, man. Thank you. Off goes Giuseppe yeah, and Alejandra working on the seasoning. Thank Aaron you so goes much. into starting up the grill. Jenny and Susie immediately go into prepping the topping. And Christian goes off and cutting the meat. So when you're making a sausage, you want to grind your meat up first. Then you got to season it and put it into a casing. Christian is extremely What is the casing confident. made out of? And so are the sausage, the sausage makers on the red team. I make sausage all the time, so... This is pretty awesome. No, you don't. Um, I'm almost done with the spice Shut mix. Up. I'm just trying to, I mean, I'm taking a little more time to do this now because I want to have enough yep. enough to make the skin. Okay. Good. The main things that make chorizo, chorizo is a great mix of sure. fat and meat, chilies, vinegar, chorizo. paprika, and a cumin too. I got this one down. 
Although her Condoms. teammates don't agree with her, <laughs> Loki team looks like Tracy it. decides to change their topping. We're gonna have like a sweet kind of caramely, spicy onion instead of the pepper. I decided that we weren't gonna go with the green peppers because they weren't gonna add that much of a difference to the, the uh -oh. flavor profile. Oh, like I just think peppers eyes. and onions complement nice. each other, especially on Italian sausage. Babies. I think it's too basic. Onions and peppers go really, really well together, especially with sausage. If it had been my way, the peppers would have stayed. Why would she get rid of the peppers? Both is good. The Blue team. What are we doing? Uh, they're doing like uh, classic Italian with some sun-dried tomato, tomato and mozzarella. Sun-dried tomatoes is a little yeah. bit worrying to me yeah. because really? I, I think that the Damn, sausage the should be a contrast to the beach. sauce. Right. For me, it would be something hearty. Right. The red, they're poaching it in a beer, so that's going to give it a nice flavor, but it's the texture of that sausage I'm really concerned about. Just uh -oh. keep working! Looking like a true dictator. Oh, like with just beach. over an hour well, in of California, so it's like Attorney 75, Esther is 70 laying down the law now. with the red team. Why are we taking that out right now? The How's that is. going over there? I don't want this to Probably be Probably not super hot. Do we need a tutorial? Esther's bouncing all around the kitchen, screaming, chop this, don't do this, do that. It's ridiculous. Can we keep it separate for now? The fat and the meat? I'm not going to say anything. Max, it's just two bins. I want Matt to stay in his corner and do his job. Can you just chop? What do you want me to do? Stop, guys. Stop. If you're gonna treat me like that, fine. See what happens. The red team looks. I do not like, like Christian. Ever since Christian mocked Gordo, fuck him. They're, they're running around. He was the and favorite they seem too. Like they're not really as focused as job, we I'm are. Confused. Let's all try this they're together. Okay? Let's try this. You really need to taste the sausage before you case it. So you take a little bit of the sausage meat, you fry it up in a pan, and you taste that. Not too much salt. OK, enough of the salt. We having the first bite? Yes, sir. Go ahead. I think it needs a little more red pepper flakes. Let me try. Just try it. I just tasted the first batch out of the frying pan, guys. How was it? How was it? It was good. OK, OK. We all agreed that the flavor was there, so we went forward. The blue team is happy with their Wait, sausage red filling, team so it's time to start review? casing. Oh, this is so much fun. Fuck out of it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, still the red got team it. hasn't yeah. tasted their meat, but they're moving on to casing anyway. You just have to what? put it on this. No one tasted it? That's brazy. It does look like a condom. Without tearing it like a condom. Oh, good. <laughs> Christine has the casing ready to go, so you know th th they're starting to start getting my meat mixture in their casings. Damn, she's good with that sausage. Christine's very confident. She says that she makes medicine sausage all the time with her dad, and I'm feeling okay about it at the moment. Then he rolled his sleeves up. Wickers. Don't make she handles that meat guys, pretty huh? well. Everything was going great until Gordon came over. Have you really pureed yours? I mean, you because you're turning into like a, a almost yeah. like a moose. What you're telling me, that's like a, a hot dog texture. That's not a coarse sausage. Is that the is that exactly what you want? This right here? <laughs> this right here? She goes, is that what you want? He's like, this right here? <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so it's grainy and it's pureed. I'm just asking. What's wrong know, with is it? Is that the texture you want on this sausage? Gordon's concerned with the texture of the sausage, so we're trying to get one on the grill and get a final exact mouthfeel of what it tastes like. Ew, it's Gordon. like barbecue dog <laughs> Take, Let them taste it. Give it to Derek. No way. You've got to taste this. It's a horrible texture. It's far too spicy, and it's just miles away. Damn. My team is in a lot of trouble. That's fucked. How? Yeah, that nice. With up, just Jacob. 45 minutes before 101 bikers arrive to chow down on both team's sausages, the red team is Always facing a, a huge down on setback. It's like Bloody hell, dog. these people are middle. It's grainy and it's pure. Right, yeah. That's like a, a hot dog texture. That's not a core sausage. Esther's red team decides this, to... There's this restaurant. My Oh, I can go there finally again. There's this restaurant. Um, They have the best hot dogs. They have foot-long hot dogs. I'm not a hot dog fan. I can see why people aren't, to be honest. Change the recipe but and the way they're grinding, aiming for a coarser sausage. Now our mouthfeel is up to par, and you know I feel like these guys are gonna get rocking and rolling and really start pumping out these links, and they're gonna be great. Yeah. Tracy's blue team is pleased with their Italian style sausage, and are now turning their attention to the topic. Oh, pleased with one? their Italian style sausage. That one straight looks like an uncircumcised penis. Look at that one. It's like perfect. Look. And are now turning their attention to the topic. No. All right, Susie, what do we got here? We've got some caramelized onions. I've got molasses, uh, brown sugar. It's going to be sweet, it's sweet, or spicy, really salty? Uh, yeah, it's just going to be sweet. <laughs> That's it. Sweet just... sausage? Caramelized, caramelized onions. onions. With, uh, They're really sweet. 
Too sweet. Graham and Joe said it was too sweet. Um, I think it tastes really good. My entire team tried them as well, so I'm actually okay with it. But you're not the fucking judge. You got a little hood. Oh, okay. Don't know Marty would never get Marty's attention. Is in charge of the red team's topping. My biggest concern is getting this topping uh, cooked down to the texture that. and consistency it needs to be. No raw onions, nothing too crunchy, just enough bite. I think we're gonna be okay. Things, Things are going smoothly. Yeah, I think they look good too. With but I don't know. Uh, until the bikers arrive, the bikers will like them. Already made over 60 sausages. Everything tastes good. Looks good. Feeling oh, good right now. The thing it doesn't matter what but you the red team had to scrap their food. first batch and exactly start over. Jake, uh, They've only just started casing, and they're facing yet another disastrous problem. They just started. Oh, stop. Why is it going so fast? We're gonna have to have another person if it's gonna come out so fast. Hold on, Max. Oh shit. They're too tight. I start to notice that the sausages are way too tight in the casing. I'm telling Christine, but too she tight. Wants. Nothing's ever too tight. It's all having the hood. Nothing. It's not in the casing. It's not my fault. Technically. Max is messing up the meat. A little more, Max. A little more. Okay. Stop. Okay, okay, stop. I'm just a monkey on a machine. I put the meat in the hole. That's it. <laughs> then True. it's Christine's job. I'll say Max kind of is not as responsible for this one. I want him to shut up. Exactly, Jake. As I'm saying, I hate to admit it, but he's kind of right. He really is a monkey on a machine. As Max and Christine continue to case, the first Red Team sausages move on to the grill. Red Team, all of you, come over here. Quickly, Max, quickly. It's just coming out the side. Oh. You're making them too tight. They normally dehydrate overnight, so they shrink, but we haven't got that time on our hands. Oh, yes, chef, fuck. don't lose or fill. The problem basically but is Max, the casing. That's fucking you know, all. Um, Me either. Christine said she, she knows how to do it. <laughs> Christine is sinking the entire ship right Damn, now. Damn, Christine is I throwing. I think I could have done a better job. His dick blew but up. Captain Esther gave us specific fell assignments, off. and I'm not going to make a scene. It's just a disgusting mess at this point. Uh, yeah, red team is fucked. What the fuck is that? That's a sausage? Bro, that looks like some shit from Resident Evil 7. Biohazard. You know the food in that nasty-ass house? I know I make that comparison a lot, but that's like, dude, that's like the only thing I could compare it to. It's an amalgamation. Oh, yes, you're gonna eat your dinner. And she throws at him. He's not eating it. He's not eating it. You remember that shit? Just under 10 minutes to go. Mama made you this special dinner. We're still having problems with sausages rupturing, guys. I think we need to consider My abandoning is gonna rupture case soon. sausages. Do we need to use, utilize the casing? The trip, What's man, the danger of taking them straight from filling it. onto grill? Can you change course and put patties on the grill? Why of course you're allowed to do that. You, you think on your feet. Let's go. We're doing that. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely time to go to plan B. We're making sausage patties. We're not even going to bother stuffing them in links. I know it's going to handicap us. Whoa. Hey, hey. Wow. Well, the team, they're not figuring it out. It's kind Blinkers. of a disaster. Esther is crumbling under pressure. And the blue team? They're all in their positions and working as a team. Christian. Queen Crazy B, I was just asking where you were earlier. I, 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 we missed you. Glad you're back. Love you. Be safe out there, okay? It's absolutely yep. nailed that sausage machine. Yep. Now, the ultimate judges will be the of course. But at this rate, it's going to be 51 points to the blue team and zero to the red. Oh, shit. Sons of Anarchy. Two minutes to go. Crazy. Guys, I see the motorcycle! Here come the bikers! Oh my god, they look hungry! They oh look hungry! God, what? Ah. 101? Start plating right now, get a whole bunch of bikes okay. in there. We have 101 bikers coming, and I have no sausages coming out. Wait, they have no sausages at all? Bruh! I realized at that point that we are screwed. Oh my god. Dude, they don't have a single fucking sausage? It's a GG, mate. Go next, Lamal. Yeah, just like, alright, let's start the elimination test, please. It's a big L. Ah, oh, damn. That's a pretty big fuck off. Here come the bikers! Oh my god, they look hungry! Time is up, and 101 bikers Mighty, have arrived. Mighty, you can't go and send me another episode. They'll try episode. a sausage from each one. team and vote for their favorite. Adrian, do you need any help there? You're you right. Please, sir. Help. He needs a <laughs> helicopter out of there. The bikers pull up, and we're five minutes away from even our first sausage getting on the boat. 
focus, 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 guys. Two part, let's now go. we know the heat is on. Now we know it's just it's it's just a matter of seconds before we have to serve them. Quickly, quickly, quickly. They have to serve, okay, okay, serve some more. Jump that sauce on there. Here we go, gentlemen. Right. Enjoy. It's an Italian sausage with our caramelized onions. Not bad, not I bad. I need one right here, Susie. Thank you. There we go. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. Vote blue. Vote blue. While the blue I would never vote blue. Red all the way. Team is busy handing out sausages. Drip, 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 drip. The red team has to rely on stall tactics, as not one of their sausages. They rely. They don't have one sausage, and they're relying on stall tactics. No way. This is a huge fucking L. No. Patties is ready to serve. Hi guys, how are you today? Yeah. I'm just gonna check on the buns. Two shakes. Two shakes. We're hungry. I'm the only one up front. They go to the blue team first, and they are in front of us. And I'm like, hi guys. He's so cute. I'll be right it's with embarrassing. you. Somebody Someone stop up. taking control. Jenny is step cute. Up. Come on now. The blue team is showing you that. We're waiting too long. I'm happy I'm not captain of this ship. Are these ready? A couple of them, yes. What the fuck is that? No, 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 guys. No, no, no. Stay with us. Stay with us. We're doing the best we can. Spicy beer sausage with drunk onions and peppers. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Ew. Looks like my butt. I'm kidding, I don't even know what it means. Yes, I love her. I think she's gonna get out though. Oh my god, because she's one of the weaker chefs, to be honest. Jenny? I'd say her and Max are probably the weakest ones right now. What do you think, right red now. or blue? I like the blue. You like the blue, you like the sweeter sausage. Yeah. I really like the red one. Red, wow. It had more kick to it, good spice, and the blue one was just, I don't know, too sweet. Right. Uh, nice sausage. The blue team is running smoothly, <laughs> but the red team is still scrambling <laughs> as the first votes start coming in. Come on, blue! Big red! Red pill or blue pill? Which will you choose? Red. Red. Damn! Red. Red. They couldn't even make them. His butt. Okay, sir, where are you going? Come on, go red! Go red, go blue! Go blue! Red as well. Damn! Wait a minute! Even though the red can't case them and they're like falling apart and they're pieces of shit, the blue one. Bro, it's Susie and the onions, J Cat. You were right. You were 100% right, J Cat. It's not the, because Joe warned them. Joe and Graham warned them about the sweet fucking onions. We start Bro. getting points if we're in the lead, so we have a fighting chance. They're gonna be Red close, team maybe. starts getting the first votes. They were starting to really kind of climb quick, and I looked at my team, they're all really like... Come on, help us out. Let's go check out three votes. Help us out, they're begging for votes. Yeah, spicy beer sausage. And we have drunk ass relish. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> we got drunk ass relish. They finna lose over some onions? Imagine, bruh. Bruh. Oh my god! I did not see this coming! It's now 18 to the red team what and the 9 fuck? to the blue team! Drunk ass relish, oh, ass stop, cringe. Stop! Let's go. stop! It's not over, it's not over until Fat Lady sings! <laughs> I mean, we're getting blown out of the water right now. And the first one to 51 I would love wins. To get blown. A lot of the early votes are going red because they're yeah. saying that this is too sweet. Too sweet! Too sweet, too sweet. Our onions are too sweet so we need to bring out the flavor you dumbass sausage, bitch Susie. counteracting it with something that's a little bit spicy i really wanted uh our topping to be onions and peppers at one point tracy decided to pull the peppers we need hot i know, hot peppers i think they kind of realized like oh maybe we should have listened to christian right. so we decide to go right call into cutting that call sweetness with some banana peppers hymns, hitting it with a little sausages. bit of red wine vinegar so it cuts that sweetness with a little bit more acidity always oh, yeah Oh, that's good. And all of a sudden, bam, we have our flavor. Now, come on, guys, but is it too late? This. Freak. Okay, do you want to do this here? That's good. Good? That's good. That's good. All right. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Once we realized that that spice and that heat was working, Susie fucked you guys. Stick with it. It's not too late to come back. How is it? Uh, good. He's like, how is it good? Sorry, I ruined the first 50 or so because I'm a stupid cunt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just being stupid cunt things. You know the Tumblr? You know, it's like just white girl things or just girl things. It's just stupid cunt things. I want Jenny to stay. She might. She might, she might if she play, plays her cards right. People keep throwing. You think she's the one who left? Jenny? I'd have to see what they're wearing. Fucking yeah! dumb bitch thing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
our lead just keeps dwindling. Guys, we're catching up. I think it's working. Ew, the team's catching up, and I need to figure out what's going wrong. Hot freaking bun. Fred. Is that a tie? Red. What was that Red screech? Wow. Damn. But now even 19. See, if it wasn't for Susie, they'd probably have like a full lead. To the red, 19 to the blue. The record, dude. Yeah. It's tied yeah. now. I know our sausage is better. We cannot lose My this. sausage is better. Better ingredients, better sausage. Papa John's. Hey, why is he yelling like the? Who's this nerd? He's he's normally pretty cool, but now that the blue team sausages have a new pepper topping, the red team is losing their lead with the patties. Blue, 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 blue. blue. To the red, 19 to the blue. The first team to 51 votes will win the challenge. Blue is perfect. I like the blue better. Even though red was late, I gave him a chance and waited, and I thought blue was like uncomparably better. Here Damn. we go, blue team. Sir, where are you going? Blue again. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> the score of the do you guys blue? think the motorcycle makes an actual song, or do you guys think, um, it's like a like they're like put the sound in, you know what I'm saying? The, the motorcycle sound when they turn it, it doesn't sound like it's a. It sounds like it was added in afterwards. I think they just turn it and just change the signal in real life. The number so dramatic after eating glizzies after effect not nah, added in post. Yeah, imagine it being there in person. It's just like red or blue. It's like blue. And that's it. <laughs> the fuck is that laugh though? Ooh, we keep climbing, climbing, and climbing. Oh, let's put some glizzies. People love their glizzies, yeah. liquor. Liquor and music, I'm up with it. Wow. How can they not vote for us? We have beer in our sausage. I have Xanax in my sausage. Want a bite? Now we're starting to kick some butt. Dude, you shut your cunt ass up, bitch. We're not giving up. I know it's an uphill battle, but we haven't lost Honestly, it. Honestly, show them your tits, Esther. Like, just flash them. Yeah. Like, it's, they're bikers, you know? Uh, Blue team pulled it back. I mean, they back. changed course with a topping. I went from less sweet to something more yeah. sort of Dude, beat it. Esther? Wow, 44 yeah. to 31. Asian girl? No, she's a Nero engineer. Red team, you're 15 behind. It's not over yet. Now that the last bikers have been served, both teams hope to claim the few remaining votes. They'll be extra. They'll sell extra. 33, 34. Damn. Damn. Red's coming back. 35 to 47. The suspense is killing us because Red will get a vote. Blue will get a vote. Red will get three votes. Blue team, you need three more votes to win the challenge. Damn. Do this on purpose? Yeah. You gotcha. I think I got blue. It is chaos. Maybe. Oh, one more and blue wins. Blue team, you need one vote to win the challenge. Red team, you need ten votes to win. It's fifty to Blue's gonna win. All we need is one more vote. Oh no. She's gonna be the one to end it, isn't she? Left. There's 101 people. I knew it. So it's someone off the red team. It's Jenny, he's going home. We saw, they did a sneak peek of who went home in the last episode and it was a female. They always win by one vote. They won by 10. No, this guess is a not. huge win. Usually I know what I'm you not mean going though. Home. This is amazing. We did it. Oh my god. Red team. Did Giuseppe just fair. kiss her? Elimination in the face with the next pressure test. Where sadly at least one of you will be leaving Master Chef. We couldn't get Damn, the sausage not case. Jenny. That just screwed us over. I think it's Esther's fault. She couldn't get it together. She was the captain. She's the reason why we failed. One of us is it's leaving. It's her or that one of us is going to that pressure test and not coming back. 
It might be hurt too. Literally, we just gotta see their shoes in the elimination challenge. We're walking into a pressure test, and I feel sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm Good. walking to the hangman. Welcome back to the Master Chef Kitchen, Red Team. Great obviously job you last lost time, the Max. By cooking the Wait. weakest Master Chef Kitchen, Red Team. Obviously, you who's got the boots on? You Can't lost see. the challenge by cooking the weakest links. Get it? The weakest Blue links. Blue Team. Congratulations. The victory means you're safe and you can cruise up to the gallery. Off you go. Good job. Whew. I can just stand from that little balcony and know that. Good for that you, Tracy. Now be quiet. Thanks. Right. Listen carefully. It's Jenny. No. Chat, look. And know that it's not my ass on the line. It's Jenny. She's wearing the black boots. No. 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 Right. Listen carefully, because this pressure test is very different well. from the last pressure test. Why? Because only two of you will be competing in it. Wait, what? Esther, How dare they? You could have just said misogynistic or the sexist. Team captain. In your mind. Wait, Esther gets to pick the team, two? Who are the weakest two? Oh my, they're not racist because guess what? She gets to pick. She picks. My initial reaction is, uh-oh, I just know that the singling Next. out is going to really exacerbate the tensions that exist on our team. I asked you a very straight They're gonna pick question. Max. You Which know, two were the weakest? Bro, oh, if it, she didn't pick the blonde mom and Max, then this is, this is just tripping. The blonde lady, the goofy lady. Her. It would have to be the two that were casing. It was Max and Christine. Okay. Wait, what? Ginny, Ginny is safe? I'm mad. I'm just mad. And uh, it's too early for me to go home. It's too soon for me to go home. I'm flabbergasted with Esther's decision and how easily she threw two Ginny people under the bus. Max and Christine, why? They let me be to believe that they could have gotten this done. Had I. What if, what if Gordo's like, well, I don't care. These are the two weakest. That would be fucked. I known I would have switched someone out earlier. So, Christine, Max, Esther, Fuck you, stand Max. here. You four, join the blue team from the gallery. Let's go. Oh, shit. Does she have a bracelet? It might have just, just been a random scene of someone walking out the fucking door and they just debated us with it. Phil. Pissed off. I'm not the only person on the casing. Bro, you definitely fucked up the most. You're a grown ass woman. Take responsibility, you fucking weirdo. You fucking weird freak. Weird fucking freak ass, freak ass loser, bro. Like, bro, take some response to goddamn ability. It was your fucking fault. It was you and Max. You and Max were by far the weakest. Was Esther a great leader? Fuck no. She was a shit leader. But you were like, you're like, I got this. I make shots all the time. You know what I'm saying? You literally need a third person to help. Yeah, like you were like you were you literally led, led your team like to an L because you were like bragging about how good you were at sausage and you fucked them all up. Like girl, you fucked up. Like yeah, this one is on you. If you didn't have it, let someone else take care of it or try or you, you save yourself. You you, you could have been like, yo, I can't do this one. Switch out with me. That's all I gotta say. Max, I wasn't casing sausages. I was just putting meat in a machine. Obviously wrong. Damn. Esther. Our question to you. Yes. As the team captain, are you prepared to swap places with Christine or Max? Chat, how much do we blame Esther on this one? Go down with the ship. How much do we blame Esther with this one? Now, we hate Max. Now, now guys, remove your biases. Just, and I'm, I'm not saying like this has to be your decision, but remove your biases. Who was more at fault, Max or Christine? I mean, Esther. Who was more, who was more at fault? I'm not going to lie. I think it was more Esther than Max, but I don't like Max. He was trying to micromanage the entire time. They were 
pacing. She no, remember the very beginning? She's like, I don't know how to make sausage at all. She literally just bro, she literally just stood around and was like, buns. Like that's the only thing I saw her do the whole time. Did you guys see her do anything other than say buns? Esther, she didn't check on the sausages when Gordon's like, yo, these are messed up. She's like, these right here? She looked completely clueless. To switch off the casing and made Max try. Exactly. That's what a good leader does. She pulled more people to try to help. She was a leader. She was supposed to, she was supposed to oversee and, and, and take care of all that shit. And she didn't take care of any of it and just let, let, let everything sink. Now, she's definitely not going to take Max's place, but. Or are you going to walk up the stairs with a clear conscience and join the rest of your team? Esther, don't do it. What's your decision going to be? be a cunt. She's going to be a cunt. You already know it. I mean, who wouldn't, though? You and I would, too. Don't do it, girl. We all know she's going to go up to the balcony. She's a woman. A woman would never sacrifice and tell the truth. Are you prepared? Wouldn't swap. I mean, I wouldn't either. To swap places. They would With Christine or Max. Or... Are you going to walk up the stairs and join the rest of your team? I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> Damn. Even though I was a leader, I don't think it was my fault. It was your... Even though I was a leader, I don't think it was my fault. Bro, I want to run over Esther with the car now. Honestly, chat, now we hate Esther, not Max. I mean, we hate Max, but now Esther's our number one on our hate list. Thought you were going to get saved. No, it would have been Max who got saved, if anyone. But Christine doesn't like... Yeah, Christine. Fucking Esther does not like Max. Oh, well. Esther should have really shoo, taken shoo. responsibility. Yeah, true. Don't give up. Okay, boo. Fight back. I am. I'm a, fight, I'm a fighter, so don't f*** with me. Gordon's there like, uh, I'm not fucking with you. You fucked up the sausage. Chill out. Not that serious. You stuck at cooking. <laughs> There's a problem, then somebody should have stepped up and said there was a problem. But obviously, they don't have enough guts to say anything. True. Look how Christine. she's up there holding Ben. Oh, I messed up. Dude. Blah, 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 blah. It's acting pretty crazy. The cry, stop I'm it. I'm upset too, but I know how to put that aside and focus at the task at hand. The theme of she's today's so mad. pressure test she's gonna cry the car. is the most amazing... Gordon didn't even say anything, bro. That's so embarrassing. She's like, I'm mad. I'm a fighter. Fuck off. I'm a fighter. Gordon's like, okay, then. Anyways, on with the show. He like, tells the producers, can someone get this bitch to shut the fuck up? <laughs> He's saying nonsense. A filet mignon. Fillet steak. Bring it, baby. Ew. Ew, stop. That's so cringe. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, 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 ew. Get this bitch off my screen. Why is she jumping around like boxing? Bring it, baby. Ugh, it's fucking sound like Austin Powers over here. I'm so psyched. Stop give that. And That's give me weird. Some meat and I can cook it. Bring it. Not try to pull a Goku. Ah. She did start jumping up and down. I'm from the South, man. <laughs> give me some steak. Bitch, shut up. Bro, I'm from the South, too. You're embarrassing yourself. Even if you make it through, we're going to hate you now. You're so hype. Bro, you literally ruined the sausages. You both go home. Max, how are you feeling? Bro, about Gordon's, Gordon's like, oh, this fucking stupid bitch. You better not have that confidence and fail. The girl from down south. Maybe she can cook a steak. I think I can. So we'll see what happens. He's a New Yorker. Bring it. Okay. New York's known for its fucking steak, you dumb bitch. I would say, I would say no offense. I'm from the south. I'm from the deep south. From the redneck fucking south. Live out in the fucking sticks. All right? New York is known for their steak more than the fucking South, bro. We're known for fucking fried chicken, mashed potatoes, slaw, mac and cheese, cornbread. Talking about filet mignons down South? Bro, how can you afford a filet mignon if you're from the fucking South? You're a true Southerner? Get your bitch ass out of here with this lying. This stupid ass lying, bro. I hate this bitch. Bring it. Bro, Atmosphere's got a fucking uh, emo, uh, emo thing for everything. We that provide you Lamo. each... With three stunning fillet steaks. Oh, those look good. Your task. You're of a New York strip. Dude, New York steakhouses are famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, she's tripping on this one. I mean, she, she could possibly beat him. I'm not saying she can't be better than him. But, like, all this fucking weird trash talk and weird antics. Bro, she's definitely drunk. Oh, bro, she was the one that was always drinking the wine in the beginning. Remember? She probably still is. Watch her go home. It's to cook them three ways. 
The first a way, three -way? is fun. rare. The second steak will be cooked in the way that a vast majority of customers in this country want their steak cooked, and that's medium. And Blind finally, be like, a temperature that even chefs up. can't I'm fine, I promise. Properly. A little bit too much to drink. Well done. Bruh, a well done steak. Just throw that shit out. No, nobody, nobody wants a goddamn well done steak. I do not be like that. Chat, does anybody like well done steaks? The, the person steak. with the most consistent well. temperatures will remain in Master Chef. Like it, medium Got rare. It? Yes, chef. Thirty minutes, starting now. What do you guys got? Why oh, she's slamming everything? Bitch, relax. Ew, I hate this. Mimir is perfect. She's being so extra, bro. I hate extra bitches. What the heck? This is pain. <clears throat> Christine is really mad. This is so weird. What is she doing, bro? This is so cringe. I hope she's not imagining my face on that cutting board. Why is she looking up after that? I'm embarrassed for her. She's gonna cook the fuck out of that steak. It, hey, listen, I don't, I don't like her anymore. But she did gonna do a really good job or a real shit job. I'm gonna use all this anger and all this energy, and I'm gonna stop come looking up there. Perfect steaks. Stay focused, Christine. Come on. What the f I think I'm doing over here. Come on, Christine. What the fuck? Did he kick her out? She's being weird. But like she offered, like she, like her, she was like trying to like you know help her calm down, offer a little bit of encouragement. The fuck you think I'm doing? Just encouraging her. That was nice. Does she not realize this is on TV forever? They're showing her to be too confident. No way she wins. Them foul. Yeah, no way, Licker. I think Licker's right. They're setting her up for failure. Somebody give them some wine so they be quiet, please. Them? Damn, Max. That was fucking funny. Come on, Christine. Somebody give them some wine so they be quiet. Please. Hey yo. I think they want me to go home because they view me as a threat and I'm really dangerous in the kitchen. That was, that was 25 pretty funny. minutes to go. This is a real pressure test. I mean, yeah. the well done steak has to be moist, but a beautiful sear. And the rare and the medium wouldn't necessarily go in the oven. Yeah. You cook it long enough in the pan. Max, coating him in olive oil, putting the salt and pepper down, and then rubbing it on the board, actually. He's already got some stock and butter for the well mm -hmm. done. He looks like he knows what he's yeah. doing. Ooh, that's good. Because you're a dick, She's Max. Southern single mom. Like for Max, that joke, but God, he ruined it immediately. East Coast. I think you definitely have two completely different styles. It's going to be about texture and I don't know. I'm pulling for Max now. I, I want her cringy ass out of here. I cannot do any more cringy elimination tests with this bitch. Just over 20 minutes to go. So you'd start off already. You'd have the well done one in, but Christine hasn't got hers in. It's her game to play, right? What is she doing? You okay, Christine? I'm awesome, man. Sir, chef. Why are you getting a cop in a two with Gorda? Okay, she's gone too far. I don't give a fuck how much we hate Max. I don't give a fuck if Max is fucking Osama Bin Laden himself and fucking crashed the fucking plane into the fucking Twin Towers himself. Fuck you. Do not disrespect Gordon, you stupid little cunt. What is she doing? What is she thinking? For no reason, Max, if you're being all calm and homegirl, if you're playing with a knife. Just under 15 minutes to go. What is her oh, deal? No, I'm going to start the medium steak. The rare steak, I'm not worried about. I'm going to do that. Uh... In five minutes. Well done. Steak is in the oven right now. Now, with just under 14 minutes remaining, Christine finally begins cooking. Christine's oh. cooking her rare and a medium. No more steak now. Together. Which is Wait. a bit strange. What? Actually, focus. He's trying to be intimidating. Like, girl, we aren't fooled. They're like, why are you intimidating Gordon, though? Max is cooking the medium in the oven, which is a bit of a disappointment because it will cook too fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Max is yeah, choking. I have my first steak out. It's rare. I'm setting it to the side. I have my well done in the oven. I have my medium on the stove, but I put a little lid on it just to kind of help it a little bit. Max is using a the thermometer. Check out all his temps. No. Until he pierced that meat. 
Juices are gonna Juices come out, right? Come no! Second He's throwing! Seeing. You're right, Abby. All the sides as well. You gonna fuck this up? Four minutes to go. Did he fuck up by stabbing it? What's up, Katrina? I thought you were supposed to stab him. He's got three on the I, board. I remember in another Master Chef, someone someone punctured their steak with a thermometer just like that, and Gordo ripped him a new one. No way he did that. Bro, what? Max just handed it to her, I think. This is gonna be close. Max. You done, Max? Yes, sir. Thank you. Three minutes to go, guys. You okay, Christine? Awesome, man. I don't want to go home. Every time she cooks in a challenge, she's flustered, she's crazy, she's crying. I mean, she's a mess. Yeah, Max does look a little worried now. Like, actually, on the show, shut up, Max. Like, actually, on the show, he does look a little, little, little worried. Made a grilled cheese, nice. It vents, it's cooling it. You can tell in his face, he's a little worried. I mean, who Max wouldn't be? Out of a pen. He's got three on the board. For Max and Christine, the stakes have never been higher. One minute so. to go. When I don't know, I'm pulling for Max now, over, bro. One of I really them dislike him. Katrina, home. you missed it. Okay, Christine, Christine did some, awesome, did some wacky I don't shit. Go home. We're pulling for Max right now over Christine. Okay, narrator. I was like, don't be stupid. Collect yourself together. Focus now. I need to fight. He's focused on having users, so it distracts him actually properly. I don't eight, know. The stakes. Seven, okay, Jake. Yeah, good six, one. Five, four, Got from Master three, show. two, one, and stop. Well done. Okay, Max and Christine, this is a pressure test, and one of you will be leaving MasterChef. Not me, I'm just quoting the narrator. Bring your stakes up, please. Yeah, but you said it. Thank you. I'm confident each one of my stakes is pretty close to the margin that the chefs are looking for. All right, rare steak is first. With a rare, we're looking for a gorgeous sear on all sides, a nice deep crust. The sear and does not look as good on hers. Interior. So, Christine, this is your first steak. The best two out of three, I guess. Who thinks gonna win the rare? No taste. We love a cringe pun. Only when Cloud does it. It's a pretty nice rare but I would have liked to have seen a harder sear on all sides. Yeah, the sear's bad. I have to check so Max, this is your you rare? Should, uh, yes, them. chef. Just looking at both steaks, I can see that this had more of a sear. Okay, let's see but the cook. It looks like it's only on the one side. The bottom looks like it's almost poached. He forgot the bottom? What an idiot. This looks to be a little more than rare. No! You can see God. that it starts to get a little lighter color as you get to the well, outside. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty rare to me, but they obviously know more, but like, I wouldn't I wouldn't want it much more rare than that. Like, that looks pretty fucking rare. Let me get it in the light again. That is like, that's pretty fucking rare. He was too high, oof. Like, if it's any more pink, I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. But I like rare steaks. Is that not pretty rare to you? That's super rare. Yeah, like how much more rare can you get that bitch? It starts to get a little lighter Looks color as you get... Well, her, but hers did not look as good as that. To the outside of the actual steak. Looks like you've left it in the pan a little too long, okay? What's a little too long, like two seconds? They didn't even taste you it. The next temperature we called for was medium. When we cut it open, no more red, certainly no more blood. I should see a center that's Both perfectly pink. So, Christine, let's see how yours looks. Sometimes. That good? So the color is Sound pink. Effect. Perhaps a little more red than I would expect. Too rare. Seasoning's oh. good, you. Fucking Joe. Mmm, that's hot, Joe. Do that with my fucking cock in your mouth. You can definitely sorry. taste the garlic. <laughs> sorry, 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 I'm kidding. 
I usually like a little bit more salt. Perfect timing to me, though. OK, Max. You got a nice sear on your exterior. Let's see how this looks. Max, you rare? You rare? Oh! So this is definitely Max more is of a lost. brick red, less pink Max than just I might have expected. Lost. A generous coating <coughs> of salt. And the thyme herb seasoning is very nice. Christine won, chat. Her first two steaks were better. Last temperature required. Well done on well the done. judging. So the color I'm looking for on the inside, gone is the redness, but it has to stay moist. Gordon is cutting into my... I think the only reason for a well done steak is if it's like, cut, like chopped up and put into something, you know? Well done steak, and I'm about to throw up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit, that's bad. Did Max take the tip on his? Yes, well. Okay, two for one. I think Max gets one if Les says it's really bad too, and she gets two, right? Is that what you guys are going for? Dinkies? That's what I'm seeing here. Max smiling, bro. Does that look well done? No, it's a chef. Did you see in Tinder? I'll be Max This throws. color? Should be there. Yikers! That looks that that would be a good medium well steak. She should have switched them. Where's the confidence now, for real? Your three. I still think she won because the two out of two to one. It's short of oven time there, but the flavor is delicious. Max, and we'll do exactly the same, right down the middle. Please, God. Yeah, there. Nope, 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 nope. It was a little pinker than I anticipated, but I think I did damn good. His looks pretty damn close. Max is 50 seconds away from perfection. 50 Taste. seconds. Trash. It's glistening. It's got moisture. Good job. Thank you, Easy chef. challenge. I think Christine My won this, My stomach is sadly. on a knot. I have a headache. I think I'm about to pass out. I just don't want to be the one going home. Here's the mark in terms of temperature, room temperature. Room temperature. Strengthen the red hand, strengthen the mark up. Can Max go home? I mean, he'll go home eventually. Very, very difficult. OK, first off, both of you did you could a, go a longer. phenomenal job. Looks pretty good. And the margin is that. <sighs> Joe, tough decision. One, Cook achieved the temperature we asked for in a more clear and resounding way. And, and broadly across all Jay the Cat, states. Don't get disrespectful. You're turning into Christine. Based on all three temperatures. Buddy, man. From rare. Medium, well done. The person Don't leaving MasterChef. Better be careful, I'll turn on you next. So hard. Shit. Oh. Great as it is. The person leaving MasterChef. Shit, chat. Is... Dude, this is wild. I, I can't believe that I'm in it in a sexual way. Hey, you're safe. Guys, I wonder who it's going to be. What do you think? Could, I have no clue. Max. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You bitch. Bye, Max. Aw, uh, at least you hugged. Keep your head up high. Wow, 18 years of age. Well done. There you go, buddy, because he's so good. Don't what happened there? Underestimate your potential. Damn. That was a pretty weak goodbye compared to the other ones. Yo, he kissed her. I'm sad that I'm leaving Master Chef. I would have hoped to stay a little bit longer but I proved that there's some 18 year olds that can cook better than older people. True, he is only 18. Like who wasn't a fucking douchebag when they were 18? Christine needs Buzzy. this title more He's than a little I bit do. extra douche. She's a single mother. And Damn, okay. Never mind. I would never have said that. 
you know, she needs the money more. She's a single mother. Fuck her. Nah, bro. I, I, I don't give a fuck if you're a single mom, bro. I'm, I'm the fucking competitor. I'm fucking... I don't give a fuck. I wasn't I was a cool kid? I wasn't too cool for school. Yes, you guys were. I was a nerd at 18. No, not, not that you were a douchebag, but you guys were like not like a likable person. Like if, if you guys saw your 18-year-old self, you would cringe. Pretty dope, not gonna lie. No, you wouldn't, chat. You guys are all like... You guys are all being cocky now. You guys are all acting like Max. Like, you guys are all being Max 2.0s. Every single one of you. J-Cat, Katrina, uh, whoever else. Thank you for the follow, Victoria. I appreciate you coming in. This would be very good for us. Alejandra, Derek, and Jenny, I wish you the best of luck. Christian, the kids, Susan, the coolest of and kids. Esther. Yeah. All right, Max. Can't wait to see you crash and burn. Hey, what'd that plant do to you? Everyone who says they were annoying at 18 is still annoying. Based. That is so based. The most ba Bro, she comes in here, drops a follow, and drops the most based thing of the night. Thank you. About the plant. Dude, I was annoying as fuck at 18. I don't give a fuck. But when I was 18, if, if you were said I was annoying, I would have been like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm based. I'm awesome. Your time's coming. <laughs> Damn. They gave me another chance, and I'm going to take that chance, and I'm going to run with it. <laughs> Little bow. She said, she said, Meh. Nobody's getting rid of me yet. That was scary. my life. I'm always super cool. Next time on really MasterChef, the competition oh, trip. heats up. I'd say the table. stripped? Really? Ew? That was like Max. Max is a whole bitch. God, I'm so annoyed that she stayed. I mean, I, I honestly kind of like Max. Not for the reason you guys think. I liked him on the show because he caused drama, he caused strife, he caused people to get annoyed and pissy. You know what I mean? And then that shit's entertaining to me to see people looking like at each other's throats and shit. Wait, and the knives come out. We were very disappointed. Disgusting. I think you're on. Christian is acting like a little punk. If you were mad. Susie. Bro, Susie is my number one enemy too. And Christian. Oh, Susie is so annoying. She almost threw the challenge because she made sweet onions when Joe's like, hey, bitch, stop making sweet onions. Damn, Susie's getting annoying. You take it on the chin. No, Susie either. She reminds me of the girl from the office. In the elimination test, some of the cooks are under to pressure. Watch yeah, so Max, Max is like young douchebag cringe, and and then um, Christine is like uh, like cringy boomer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, people are assholes for entertainment. Therefore, they're for the people. Yeah, you need the assholes. You need the like the the drama. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like sort of soggy crap and it's bland and it's oily. You've missed the trick. And another home cook is sent packing. What was that? One potato, two potato. All right, let's watch another. You guys want to watch another episode? I'm down if you guys want to. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. You guys, you guys down with it? Yes, yes. All right, let's do another one. Oh fuck, Mighty, did you, Mighty, did you send it to me? A disky. Disky disc. Oh, he did. Mighty's so clutch. Love you, brother. Pop off on occasion, brother. Back to it. Oh, I like the tattoos. Thank you. Appreciate that. I want to pull up my Discord DMs with Mighty. Mighty's the best. Yes, I did. Dude, Mighty's honestly the plug for shows. You guys, if you guys ever need some good old shows to watch, hit up Mighty, bro. Not just Master Chef, Hell's Kitchen, all that shit. All right, guys, I can do my YouTube intro again. If you're watching this on YouTube, I greatly appreciate you. Make sure you like and subscribe for a free pussy eating or dick sucking from Gordon himself. Literally, if you like and subscribe right now, Gordon will show up and <sighs> all over your shit, bro. I promise. And enjoy my other content. Let's watch MasterChef. Previously on MasterChef, after a team challenge of epic proportions. I think it's Esther's fault. Right now, She's the reason why we failed. failed. The losing captain threw her teammates She'll into the right fire. Now. I don't think it was my fault. I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. Sending the youngest home cook. Max. Hacking. Christian. Susan. Or some shit. Gordon's like, it's fucking raw. Unseasoned. Too much salt. Wait to see you <laughs> crash and burn. Tonight. Nah, Gordon wouldn't complain about my nuts. Ignites. She's like, that's delicious. Around the table any day of the week. Bring it. Bro, she reminds me of, um. Fuck's that bitch's name. From Legally Blonde. Reese's Witherspoon. On. Reese's. And one cook Reese? faces off with the judges. Know. 
Disgusting. Your base, the blonde own. one. If you're a man, you take it on the chin. Village. Your talent's not matching oh. your arrogance. Thirteen cooks remain to battle it out. My PP got four Michelin stars. Under the scrutiny of three culinary it. heavyweights. Okay, so be spot like on. For the winner, a quarter of a million dollars, and the title of Master Chef. I wonder if like the Master Chef warehouse kitchen is like sitting out in California somewhere abandoned. You know what I'm saying? Who do my gr my girl Jennifer Coolidge like that? I don't know the fuck Jennifer Coolidge is. We have 13 contestants left. My lucky number is 13. And for the first time, I feel the reality of hey, I could really be the next Master Chef. And right, good morning. Foul. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Okay, 13 of you Sorry, I are now one Reese step Dutter's closer. Spoon. To a quarter of a million dollars and the title of Master Chef. <laughs> but trust me, I'm full screen this again. There are still several hurdles to jump. Starting with the contents under that box. It's the mystery box challenge. You'll each have to prepare, cook, oh, and present fuck? one magnificent dish using only the items under those boxes. Right, on the count of three, carefully lift those boxes. And I mean carefully, because they do bite. Bite? It's gonna, it's gonna be a crab, I bet. Careful, okay? Keep your hands out the way. What is in here? Like, that can't be moving. Am I, am I gonna have to kill an this animal? Like that. Two. In the show much I got. He's a black guy, I've never seen him. Three. That's fucked. <laughs> what the fuck's gonna bite? <laughs> oh, it's a joke. For meat or a protein, and it's not to be found. It's all vegetables. I'm like. Today's challenge is to create a vegetarian Eggplant dish. Eggplant looks gross. They buy not love side GF, dishes, loving GFs not in the salad, box. well conceived Looking dishes Aussie Aussie in that could stand up in any restaurant to any vegetarian throughout this country. Um, you have the most amazing selection. Bro, that sounded racist for a second. Katrina's like, who's the black guy? <laughs> Purple fingerling potatoes. I read it and I was like, Green what? tomato. Like, oh. Candid striped beets. Japanese eggplants. Smoked paprika. Moroccan spice. And the most amazing, fragrant the curry Wait, who powder. was it? My bad. When I I'm saw black. vegetables in this oh, it was It was J-Cat and Katrina was answering it. My bad. I got it. I'm tired. Box challenge. I was super excited. And curry. Have Hello. you seen you neighborhood before? <laughs> it's just dangling this the bait. <laughs> I don't know. I, some vegetarian dishes can be good. Like, I've had some pretty dank shit. My mom's vegan, and so I grew up with some... Now, some shit was good, and then she makes some fucking... Like, she makes some, like, vegetarian stir-fry... Blah, 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 some good shit. And then she make walnut burgers. Walnut burgers? I don't know why Gordon be looking like he's in his element in this era. I'm not going to lie. I have a huge crush on Gordon. I would fuck Gordon in any era. Like, I, I wish I had a time machine. Like, mac and cheese, that's vegetarian. For this, I'd make fried chicken, Sammy made with mushrooms, some coleslaw, and some bomb fries. Cut me walnut open, burgers. you've got curry powder it's coming up. Remember, we it are only... Good. Going to be tasting so the top three dishes, oh, and the person with the best dish will get an enormous, and I mean enormous, advantage in the next challenge. The next challenge is an elimination challenge. The just walnuts. It was hard to explain. One of you will be leaving the master chef kitchen. Walnuts. Your time starts. The girlies love it. Now, off you go. Bro, isn't it crazy that is there more women? Like, like that just goes to show that women. <clears throat> I should stop. You know, Max left, she stayed, so she belonged in the kitchen. Is that bad to say that she belongs in the kitchen? It's easy for me to make vegetarian food. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Put right now. This is going on YouTube, right? I'm doing oh, yeah. a pear chutney, and I'm also making some samosas. It's aggravating to have someone constantly think that they you are. You think the that's best sad? Uh, like, seriously, God, they're not. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Susie should probably just shut the hell up. Do you think that's bad? I'm a little bit puzzled the fact that you've given up a high powered job. After a couple of years, I'm like, okay, what does my soul say? Well, he, she's a woman. 
Of course you'd go back to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm. Kidding. Uh, I'm so. Wow. There's a few other people who think that they know everything too. Esther, she can't yeah. cook. I think she's just. I should stop. Stupid. Doesn't stop. There's so much going <laughs> on face. in this vegetable plate, and I'm trying some goat in the cheese dumplings right for the now. first time today. So we'll see how Good. it goes. You fulfilled your trad role. Guys, get a be like Victoria, be a trad it's woman. The most difficult mystery box challenge so far. Absolutely. Without a title. vegetarian challenge. Yep. I think we're really asking them to perform and think like a restaurant mm -hmm. chef. Yep. I would do a uh, beggar's purse with a phyllo and then inside have the goat cheese, roasted tomato, and eggplant. And then serve a little the herb pesto. I don't belong mm -hmm. here. What I would do is Honestly, dream. that's Bake. why, you know why women have such small feet? So they can stand closer to the stove and the sink and shit. Maybe I should, st maybe I should stop cooking. Listen, if you stop cooking, you'll go crazy. You won't know what's going on. Contributed gender norms. She ain't got a job. No, she's just a single mom. <laughs> I know. I noticed that li literally her job title is single mom. He feels wrong while well, I'm in society. I don't belong here. Yeah, guys, why do you guys have jobs? Why are you contributing? Why are you contributing to the economy and society? That's so weird. i punch you. Baked wow. in a double boiler or tureen with cheese oh. and vegetables. How did you guys okay, just guys, submit just to me? How about that? To How you guys do get in my kitchen right now? Be a good girl. It would be want... unbelievable to have somebody say, hey, your dish was the number one yeah. out of all 13. If you aren't It'd be tiny. great. I think people... What, you got some clompers? Is that what you're saying? I also got some fucking clompers on her. It would take me a little rippers. more seriously than just talking about my boobs. I told Jennifer, I think she's a bitch, and uh, she's going to get what she deserves. Thanks so what? That's some Joker shit. You know what I'm saying? When he's on Mar, he's like, you get what you deserve. Bah! You know what I'm saying? He's like, she's going to get what she deserves. Bro, fucking Christian's in his Joker arc. I'm here for it. Clown stoppers. Anyone else feel like the, like reality's whack recently? That's random. Katrina's like watching MasterChef and she, she's like having like a mental break. She's like, is this even real? Why am I watching a Twitch stream? Love that for him. Katrina, yeah. She can cook better than me. I'll cook her on the table any day of the week. So that's just Some people look at me something. as the silly blonde and uh, I'm out to prove them wrong. Katrina's like, what's my what purpose in life? What are you doing? I've um, got a little uh, ratatouille going here. Um, I'm gonna, I got my tomatoes, I'm gonna stuff, stuff them inside there. Vegetarian cuisine, a strong point or a weak point? Um, He's I making mean, a killer pasta. Nah, he just still pulls out a gun anyway, turns on and shoots her. He's like, fuck it, fuck Master Chef. OMG. <laughs> What's the competition today? Who is it? Who's your biggest fear? Um, Adrian, I think, is one of my strongest competitors. Adrian, what do you got? A little uh, Spanish uh, rice. But who's the sexiest competitor, in your opinion? A little fresh tomato. It's gonna be a green gazpacho, chilled contrast with hot. We asked for one composed entree. Right, so if you're gonna, gonna if you're gonna yeah. serve multiple things, it has to come together as one yeah. unique All presentation. All the still need to work. Adrian's a great cook, but <laughs> nice again, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Victoria. Just under 13 Listen, minutes to go. Good friends. Make sure you taste oh, everything that's going in that vegetarian dish. Win the Discord. Right, Alejandro. This is my hair. I'm Something smells welcome. spicy. What Join us. That smoke I'll take the pain away. Well, what it is, is I treat my Graham eggplant as my protein. Uh, which one would I fuck? Will, so I have the Moroccan spice mm -hmm. in there. I'm marinating the eggplant. Mm -hmm. So then it brings more so flavor. Okay. And for cuddles, good luck. for everything else. I would like Gordon take a ride on my disco stick. Lots of interesting techniques coming out. And some people are doing uh, almost like two or three different components. You know, Star we'll has three dishes, and I think that what that's showing is he making the rat movie food? So Dude, what if Ben has fucking Ratatouille in his goddamn hat? Bro, honestly, if I was in Ratatouille, if I was in that movie, you know what I'd do? I'd come up behind Remy with like a fucking cutting board or some shit, and pfft, I'd smash the rat on his head. Imagine like, the guts of the rat and the blood like dripping down it. Why do I have these thoughts? Why do I let the intrusive thoughts always win? Dude, I was literally driving down the fucking road today from the gym, and I saw a motorcycle in front of me. I was like, what would happen if I just kind of bumped it? You know, it is, my car would be fine. He'd, you know, whatever. Like, I was like, what would happen? Rat soup. I'm a rat. I'm the rat man. Rat it to it. Uh, <laughs> Two, three things and combine them together. Right, which thoughts we always now, now, who do you think is going to struggle yeah. here? Who's got the advantage? Yeah, I think Christian's had his comfort zone. Yeah. I mean, really had his comfort zone. Well, just on 15 minutes to go. Christian's throwing. Christian's getting sucked back into the matrix. Damn it. Awesome. Thank you, all of you. Okay, please work. Don't touch your Eight minutes <laughs> to go. 
looking up at the clock, it's going to be down to the wire. Right now, I, I, I'm extremely concerned. I, 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 Spit it out. We're now on five minutes left. What if they made it to where the, the women could only use traditional tools? So they couldn't use any power tools. Like you plug in with electricity. They could only use knives, like graters, everything like that. Please, I beg. Bro, I'm a new streamer. I haven't been streaming that long. Only two weeks. Pray for me. I need to get more emotes. Yeah, that's better. Annoying, We're back in business and I uh, just got to pick up the speed. We're lying now. I hope this Listen, I'm lazy. I don't like adding emotes. So I like to use the excuse I'm a new streamer. Shh. They don't have to know. No one has to know. My moment to get back on top. I'm in love with this food that I'm making and I think they're going to really Lots enjoy this for well. You. Yeah, but my months to are... Before selecting the three dishes they will taste, the power, then they the have the power. Take into account our home cooks concept for their dish, oh. execution, and final presentation. No mod slender. Nine, eight, seven. My mods are gay. Six, Let's just leave five, it at that. Four, leave three, it. Don't stay for this. And one. Stop. I'm That's not funny, J Cat. You know Cloud's in a wheelchair. Why would you make that? Don't stand for this joke. We're not. We're not ableist in here. All right. Mods are the backbone to Twitch. What? What are you? What are you? What do you work for? You work for mods, paid by them. Can't with you. Shut the fuck up. You literally just made an ableist joke. I fucking punch you. Punch him, chat. Wow. You know I have glass skin and paper bones. You're gonna really. Mods are to Twitch. What degens are to Reddit? Oh, I love Reddit. I'm. I'm a. I'm a Twitter. I, I would say I'm a Twitter connoisseur, a Reddit degenerate, and a Twitch. A Twitch uh, Casanova. What's up, everybody? Fuck him up. Rabbit Reddit user. Let's talk about it. Talk about our favorite threads. Ten, Twitter whore. I love nine, Twitter. I'm a eight, Twitter slut. Seven, if I post my cock six, pics. Five, I'm under. Four, gasp. Three. No, it's not that chat. It's that I've literally moved. I literally drove 20. I drove 17 hours from Texas to North Carolina. Slept three hours. Woke up. Was awake all 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 day again today. Filmed two YouTube videos, wrote a script on fucking Keffels. I researched I researched some bitch named Keffels for goddamn seven hours today, wrote a script on her bitch ass, and I started recording it, and I fucking have been streaming since seven. I've not stopped. I'm fucking exhausted. So I'm losing my mind, but I make better content when I'm in this manic state. Exactly, J Cat. You know, drink so much Munder, 24 hour stream. Three, two, oh my god, we're at six hours and 40 minutes. Stop. Hands up, everybody. As with all mystery box challenges, the judges hours will room. taste just three dishes. The winner uh, will be given a major advantage in the next round. I think today I have one of the best dishes. There's no way I'm going to I honestly would do like a, I want to do like a sub This challenge was the turning point across this competition. Point. Because you were focused. I, the only way, chat, if, so, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get back into Master Chef, but I have a quick question. Would you guys be cool if I did like a 24 hour stream, but I like, did BR actually no? I could have Ben take over for like an hour because like I c the only reason like I 24 hour stream scares me is I like to shower so like I wouldn't like want to like not wake up in the morning or get like start the stream in the morning and not have a shower. You know what I'm saying? We are one. Yeah, honestly, might as well just never end. And it sounded like Podcast. a professional kitchen, but there was one individual play words on the stream who got tripped up. The lack of protein, no meat, no fish. My brother could do it. Into he lives with me. And that dish. You have lunch, though. Who is it? Christian. What? Bro, this looks repulsive. It's like some. Bro, is this food? Ew. It's like, like rotten food. It's like you know you know when your mom puts all the scraps in one bowl. And she's like, take this out. And you have to dump it off the hill. That's what this looks like. Or if you want to guess, it looks so bad. Is that an anus? What anus have you seen that looks like this? Please, JK. If you're looking at anuses that look like this, you're nasty. Dump it off the hill. Yeah. Dump it off the hill. What do you mean? We had a big hill behind our house. My mom was to go throw the scraps off the hill. What you give your dog as their last meal? Dog food. What's in your search history, JK? It wasn't cohesive. It wasn't properly thought through, and the whole sort of style of the dish was strange. We didn't expect it from you. <laughs> Look at his face. It was really something subpar. We were very disappointed. I think you're wrong. I don't think my dish is the worst dish here. Damn. This dish looked pretty. 
That does not look as bad. Think what you want. Goofy ass. Well, you have the right to disagree, but we're telling you the way we see it, and we thought the dish sucked. You know, fight, fight, fight. Christian is acting like a little punk. Dude, Susie needs to shut the fuck up before I reach through the screen and choke her out. Right now, sorry. Sorry, his sorry, arrogance, sorry. it's stinking up this kitchen. No, it's just cur- Oh, fuck me, I just messed up. Sorry, that was a joke. He has no filter. You don't argue with Gordon Ramsay. Thank you, Mr. Composer. Is this your god? I agree sorry, Chad. We're trying to give you constructive I was mad, criticism. okay? Doesn't count. If you were a man, you'd take it on the chin. It comes from here to here with zero filter. Unfortunately, your talent's not matching your arrogance. Oof. The dish was a letdown. I'm gonna get rid of Max. And yeah, they got rid of him last episode. What's story. up, Justino? Good to see you. Moving on with some positivity. Why is he kind of they fine? He looks like uh, Keanu Reeves. Dishes that really stood the out. Goof. The first dish belongs to. I'm not gonna lie, all these dishes look kind of gross. Like, I wouldn't order any of these, but. Jennifer. Then again, I'm not a pussy Let's ass go. vegetarian, so. Good job. You're a vegetarian. Right, if you're a man and you're a vegetarian, you're a woman. Like, what? Like, as a man, the most thing you can do is eat meat. I'm not the only one who thought so. Hey now. Hey now. You're an all star. Get your game on. Let's play. Those are fighting words. Listen, you're a girl. I'll let it pass. I'm vegetarian. Well, you're a female. Are you? Describe the dish, please. It's everything. Ben <laughs> loves his meat. I do. I just love a big cock. You know what I mean? 90% female audience. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, it's, that's actually not true. I got hella gay guys in my chat. Where I really said female. Telling these. Tell these. Me for real. <laughs> Honestly, there's carrots, mushrooms, female. shallots. I use the goat cheese with the potatoes. Where are I they? I try to make it as many vegetables so it bursts in your meat. mouth. The sauce is mm. tomatoes. I put a little uh, bit of the curry powder. Can vegetarians on it. swallow nut? Like, if you're a vegetarian, can you fucking swallow? Where are they be? Yeah, where are all my gay guys in chat? Yo, yo, come on. Can I hear for the gay guys in chat tonight? Or is it all females? Yo, type one if you're a gay guy in chat. Any anybody? And just roasted them down. The eggplant for me <laughs> was the real difficult beast in that box. All right, atmosphere. What's up, Rain? Rain, what's it's good? The eggplant really, needs to, just more cool. It needs to be overcooked to taste of something because it doesn't. Uncanny Valley Girl. That's an interesting name. Really, I like do it justice. It needs to be secretly helps. have a cock and sort of push. Why would on. you tell us? But. Great job. Thank you. Vegetarian doesn't include nuts in. It's not a meat mate. Well, listen. Uh, sperm is a baby. Babies are human. Does it count if I'm bi? Uh, sure. Why not? Thank you for the follow, guys. Welcome to the stream. Welcome in. Welcome in. I think I think nut is got protein. Bi gang. Bi yourself gang. Or just gang. So whoop. Big bees in this bitch. Thank you very much. Where I'm pretty straight. You say you have to say I'm pretty straight. You're I not straight. I love the spice that comes out. It's like there's some of the you're cumin that's in there. It flaming. makes it really rustic and I love way. the presentation. The colors really pop. It's a good dish. Thank you, Shane. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank then you. you're going to bed after this. Why? This is a dish that exemplifies. Let me gang bang. For. Thank you so much. Let me bang. The next dish that we want to taste had me, amazing color. Let me my set, bro. The textures, the flavors, the smells. With brackets. All of these senses were touched. And that dish. You're a white man from the suburbs? I'm not even from the suburbs. Bro, I literally grew up on, bro. I grew up in a fucking trailer. In the, in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I'm not even white. From the waist down. To Adrian. Walk us through it. What do you got? <laughs> I did a green gazpacho. Bro said he has a hill in his backyard. Show me sauteed Spend. paprika. Don't try to get up. Order. How <laughs> did you just stop? The flavor that comes through in that rice, the added richness of maybe the fried egg. The sauce. Ooh, I love fried eggs. Wait, an egg? Is egg not vegetarian? Is egg vegetarian? I have a headache from laughing. I can't within the day chat. That's that's my goal is to give you a fucking headache. Hope it explodes. Hope your brain has an aneurysm. Sauce awesome. is just killer on its own. Those flavors are delicious. Apparently, steam is considered vegan friendly. Thanks, man. With veganism. 
I don't know because I'm not a I'm not a woman and I'm not a pussy. I'm kidding. Being vegetarian is based, I guess. Yeah, eggs aren't fertilized. Uh, want me to fertilize some eggs, chat? Eggs are vegetarian. They're God just not vegan. Grandma. <laughs> it's got that robust. This looks pretty good. Gutsy wow factor. He's a good but cook. He's one of the top. I think he'll be the top three. This guy right here. In the same grain is a very dangerous thing to do. It's on the verge of being slightly over seasoned. However, it didn't end in a car crash. You know, it's, it's not too bad. Well done. Thank you. What's in this green sauce? The color is phenomenal. Uh, an avocado, green tomato. Ooh, I fucking love avocado. Blanched arugula, parsley. That actually looks pretty good. I would, I'd, I'd actually, out of all of them, I'd actually eat his. What's that really weird. brilliant about this sauce like toddler is that the green tomato All right, has... bro, J-Cat eats like fucking everything brown. She eats chicken nuggets, french fries. Bro, she eats everything fries. Get out of here. You don't, you, you, don't, you don't have a little bit of color in your food? Come on now. Fucking basic. Basic ah. Uh, basic ah, uh, bitch. This incredible, like, punchy, fiery Why is it so green? Versus the base. You know what an avocado looks like if you ever eaten a vegetable? Base of the avocado. An avocado is green, so when you mush it up, it's gonna be green. What, what color would it be? Oh, it's an avocado. Thanks. Avocado, and it's just like a yin and yang on your palate. You won the last mystery box, and you're Bruh. definitely a top contender for this one. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hearing how much they love my food is phenomenal. An avocado. Thank you, Grandma. The last dish we want to taste today was really an inspired triumph of flavors. Want to taste you, Joe? Let me taste you. And that dish, Jeffrey Dahmer, be like. Belong to a Alejandro. Short, the judges have never thoughts. Oh, his fingers still cut. I didn't even get in the top three. I'm not even being, even like mentioned. I wonder why. You you want to know why you're not being mentioned? Because you fucking suck. You suck big balls. I hate her eyebrows so much. I hate avocado, but I love guacamole. I get a ton of guac. I like avocado. So it sucks. It really sucks. Okay, take me through this beautiful dish. This is Skin a and all. fry vegetable korma. Oh, that looks I've hella good. I've used some of the vegetable broth Damn. to flavor the rice as well as some of the onions. Awesome. As There's the a lot kids of say. textural contrast oh, happening in this dish, rice. which is very exciting on my palate when Arbs. I get crunch, richness, an apparent cream sauce, but it's light and lively. It's quite delicious. That looks good. A triumphant dish. Congratulations. I would so frick much. that up. I would get freaky with that. The coolest fragrance, the delicious. Egg. The balance of the flavor. Honestly, that's kind of impressive. This girl and the, and the guy before, like, they took all those vegetables and, like, it doesn't even look like a... Like, I don't even know how I would make something look like that out of vegetables, you know what I mean? Like, the best I could do is, like, cut it up and dip it in ranch. And the heat against the sweet with the Asian pear. Ranch. Lovely. But the issue I have... Gordon was a fucker so bad. Undercooked, and it doesn't sit well in my mouth. Thank you. Good job. Thank you you know what would sit well in your mouth, Gordo? Nothing. Come on. Very, very tough. Very, very tough. Oh, no. Made a curry. Yeah. I like good. curry. Okay. Okay. In the next challenge, someone will be eliminated from MasterChef. From life. So any advantage you You're can earn at this stage in the game is huge. Let me tell you something. If I'm running a 100 yard dash and I can start at the 50 yard line, I can guarantee I'm probably going to win. My last mystery box win felt like, amazing. Give me a good amount keep of vegetarian going, options. You know, they finally saw me, and I don't want to go back into the shadows. I'm just crossing my fingers that it's chili, me chili that chili I get blues. to win the challenge. I want that advantage. The top vegetarian dish. Boom, but the class. mystery box challenge belongs to. food is perfect for vegetarian options. Today's vegetarian oh, mystery there. box challenge, the top three dishes have been tasted by the judges. Adrian's gazpacho and rice. I think Alejandra's I think Adrian might win. Stir fry. Chat, who do you got? And Jennifer's. Fish number one, fish number two, or Adrian? Right, the winner of the vegetarian mystery box challenge. Hmm. Congratulations. Jennifer, well done. Ah, bitch two got it. Yeah. I'm kidding. Lovely lady number one. Good well job, my lady. I actually prefer when women win. This is definitely my proudest moment. I think women here. are better. I think you guys as women should murder me. I think you guys should murder me and, and consume me for nutrients. Nutrients? Nutrient? 
What word am I looking for? Nutrachi. Nutrients. Proven myself. Thank the judges you. have recognized Dog. that. I do belong here. Oh, uh, you have a huge advantage the next stage of this competition. Ready to find what out what it is? Just say? I was trying to say Let's nutrients. Go. I forgot the <laughs> word. Uh, honestly, my my dream is to fucking go out being murdered by a beautiful goth mommy or or a depressed girl who's like insanely obsessed with me. Like I want someone to kill. I I want a girl who's just like crazy about me, obsessed with me. Like you know, like uh, you know when celebrities get murdered by like their obsessed fan. Jennifer's body type shit. Yes. Like you guys can fucking like just some crazy wild shit. Like some like insane shit. I feel like that'd be a great great way to go out. Like my life would. Okay, you have those. I'm, I'm still alive, aren't I? God damn. In your skin Jennifer type shit, yeah. In control of the elimination it test, you. where at least one person will leave. Honestly, bro, if if I was in Resident Evil Village and like I was actually literally outside your window right now, do it. Just fucking just just kill me, please. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, but no, if I was like in Resident Evil Village. Like, uh, and you, like, I was, like, the character you guys played as. Like, and as soon as I saw Lady Dimitris to you, all you just hear is, because I would fucking bend that bitch over, and I'd clap those cheeks before she killed me, at least. I'm dying my hair green soon. She's by the tree, OMG, I see her. She's in the tree. Bro, she's so fine. Bro, she's so, wait, how tall is Lady Dimitris to you? Is she, like, like, six foot, like, is she, like, six foot ten or some shit? I, I don't know. I don't know if I can like a girl who's taller than me. Where she looks at the blood on the motherfucker's hands. She's massive, like nine foot. Okay, okay, then that's fine. If she was like three inches taller than me, that would be weird. But if she's like a couple of feet taller than me, I don't give a fuck. Because like at that point, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's like, it's like, damn, that guy's got a big ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? But if she's like a couple inches taller than me, then I'm like, damn, that guy's short. Nine six. You know, backwards. If a woman murders me, do not prosecute the woman because they are caught me slipping. Exactly. Honestly, if you get murdered by a woman, like that's embarrassing. Like, come on now. Eve Master Chef. But as you always, that right? the theme is in the hands over? No, she would not. of the judges. Now you're not off the hook yet. Listen, like she might be taller than me. We'll be competing in the elimination test today. Today's elimination she test she too. isn't a True. one, but it's a who. You got bug daughters. Say hello to America's first Master Chef. You're four too. Whitney <laughs> Miller. <laughs> <Versus two. laughs> Wait, who? Miller. To America's first master chef, Whitney but Miller. Isn't here, okay. <laughs> Whitney Miller, never heard of her. Somebody's make short jokes. Why is she laughing like that? Because she's like a like a reptile in a human's body. She's like, all right, I have to produce some sort of normal human emotion. Wow. Wow. It's good to be on this side of the table. <laughs> I feel free. Dude, I wish she was on the menu. She's gonna <laughs> short jokes. Okay, about Jennifer. The book. Today the book. you'll be recreating a dish. This is from the very first winner of Master Chef, apparently. Whitney's brand new cookbook, Modern Hospitality. So Simple recipes with Southern charm. But Simple recipes with Southern charm and a tad of racism. Yeehaw! Southern bells, Win Dixie, am I right? The South will rise again. <laughs> Jeez, just so awkward. I, I, dude, okay, listen. I'm from the South too, okay? I get it. But why do people from the South that make it big have to like add the South to everything? Oh, I'm just a famous city girl with a little bit of Southern charm. Bitch, just be a human being, please. Please. I'm not even watching MasterChef. Like, it, it drives me crazy. It drives me so crazy. You will have, have to no do other it without... track. Southern bail. Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, I'm Brittany. I'm from the South. You couldn't tell. Bitch, I can tell by your honky-tonk accent, okay? You don't have to tell me you're from the South. You don't have to put Southern charm on it when you're cooking up fucking fried chicken, cornbread, and pinto beans every fucking day on your menus, okay? We know you're from the South. We get it. You're a bumpkin. I am too, all right? You don't have to tell everyone. It's a whole personality. It is. Southern accent comes out. Hell yeah. A recipe. I'm gonna fuck my cousin. Here's your first advantage. Here we have three stunning dishes from Whitney's cookbook that you can choose from. I prefer a girl with a nasty Jersey accent. The first dish is like choose gum. Cranberry really loud. chipotle Between barbecue word. chicken what? with potato salad and grilled asparagus. Ooh, I like asparagus, the chef. second of Whitney's roasted garlic with a little bit of honey. Oh, honey, butter, fuck. Asparagus is fucking juicy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like some sucky shit. Dishes. Shrimp and grits with andouille sausage oh. and a roasted red pepper sauce. I don't sauce like grits, but I like shrimp. Salad. And the third dish Do not fuck is with grits. the most amazing crispy catfish. Oh, the most amazing nah, catfish L. 
purple slaw. Very easily underrated. Then, it really is. Stunning, beautiful sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. You're not from the south. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chef, you're from the south. You know sweet sweet potato fries are a no go. Fuck that shit. Sweet potato fries with catfish? Nah, bro. Get some Cajun fries. You tripping? Use a catfish for sure. I love catfish. Yeah, but you're not. You're gonna have sweet potato fries with catfish. That's what you can tell Gordon's from the fucking Europe. What's up, Giga Raph? Raph's like back from my party, bro. I just full sent, nailed it. That was so alcohol. It was so litty, McTitty there, bro. Gotta be potato wedges. Oh, there's your. Uh... Oh, look, a gay guy. Yeah, dude. There's been no gay representation tonight. Of as, as male. We found one sin. Why don't you taste them? Everyone what fucking everyone stare at him. Choose. Point out of love. the dish that everyone, including you, have to cook. He's munching, munching. Do you pick the dish that Dosa, you think you're going to excel way. the most at? Or the, the one chef? that you think will you, give man? your opponents you? the most trouble? Think. Bitches love think. so, so. What dish created from what so you jealous you're in. Are you going to choose? Oh. Bro, look at her horse are teeth. Are you going to choose? Look at these horse teeth, bro. They, like, protrude from her lips. Dude, you know it's bad when your teeth go out farther than your fucking lips, dude, bro. I bet when, I bet when she kisses, she's like, bites the guy's lips. Well, one was a seven-year-old B-Day, and the other one was a 26-year-old, and both were pretty chill. Did you get fucked up? Did you take shots? Oh, God. She eats sheet metal? God damn. God damn, bitch. Strong, strong on oh, neck. Look at these veins and tendies in her neck. God damn, ho. Bro, I bet you get bit by hair, bro. She'll take your arm off. Wow. Wow. We have a very, very special guest. Please welcome. Your mother. America's first ever master chef, Whitney Miller. Make up a glass of water, but I hate way too much. Absolutely amazing. We presented Jennifer with three stunning dishes. Chat. Do you guys think Gordon ever banged one of the MasterChef contestants? Yes or no in chat? From Whitney's um, gee, Jesus. The dish that Jennifer picked. She got a crazy bite. I would never for sure. I think Gordon slays pussy, bro. Crispy catfish. I don't Damn, they don't look happy with that. Or ever want catfish. In the I contract he gets to. Up. Yeah. <laughs> when you sign for MasterChef, if you get on the show, it's in the contract. If Gordon happens to find you worthy of his his cook, you have to fucking suck that shit. Yeah, we know it's catfish because y'all spoiled Lamau. Why they show it like that? Like, I'm Asian. Like, why would I eat southern food? You all have cook or eat or ever want catfish. I was born and raised in LA. I'm Asian. Like, why would I eat Southern food? One second, chat. Just, just don't go anywhere. Just give me one second. I don't know if I can find the clip, but it was this, it's this fucking sound by where it's like, is this bitch stupid or something? Huh? Well, I don't like cabbage, but what? Imagine not trying food because you're from Lamau, what? Imagine if I'm like, why would I ever eat Asian food? I'm from America and I'm white. Why would I ever eat that nasty Asian food that those Asians eat? Ugh. Bro, what the fuck? We serve a in a different form and don't tell her until after. Esther hates the South. She hates Southern white people. She's racist against me. I've never, ever, my whole 24 years of being alive been discriminated against of being a southern white boy, but now I have been. I feel really, really bad. I'm, I'm ending stream here. Wait, people eat catfish? I just realized. She's 28 and she's a lawyer. Wait, she's a lawyer? I thought she was a neuroengineer. You let her take the bar? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't she a neuroengineer? Because we were talking about it. We were talking about it literally yesterday. Because I was like, is a neuroengineer an associate's, a bachelor's, or a master's degree? Have you seen catfish in the sewer drains? Why the fuck are you in sewer drains, fucking Pennywise? I don't know. I fell asleep. But then again, Ned was I love my wife guy. Yo, free my guy, Ned. He did nothing wrong. A Jane of all trades. Lamal, uh. 
You'll all have 60 minutes to recreate Whitney's dish, down to the last grain of salt without a recipe. Jennifer, there is a second advantage that we haven't told you yet, and that uh, is you and like you that. alone will be given a basket of ingredients to recreate that stunning catfish. Here we go. Get a Beloved drama. Excellent. Deidre Singh, I found a main if Gordo was doing like this, he'd get read out so fast. In that basket. You want for nothing. How do you feel now? Listen, chat. Bro. I promise you, you're friends with a cheater. People, like, like you can be friends with someone who cheats on, on in relationships. Like, you don't have to hate someone because they cheat on people. If now if they cheat on you, you can hate them. Why did I just not respond to that Ned thing? Like, I can't believe they kicked him off his YouTube channel because he cheated on his wife. Big fucking deal. People cheat on their wives every fucking day. Like, they should get a divorce and he shouldn't cheat on her again. And they should, like, he should, she should definitely leave his ass. Like, don't stay with a fucking cheater. But, like, if someone cheats on someone else, like, why, why does anyone give a fuck? <laughs> All the ingredients are right there in front of me. This is a huge advantage. Huge. There's like no it reason sucks. It's not shitty, to, be able but... to nail this one. Everybody else? Ew. Bro, she's not human. She's trying so hard to act human. You know that scene? You know, you know that scene in fucking Men in Black when the fucking spaceship lands on the farm and, he, and the fucking alien takes over that guy's body and he's like trying to act human. He's like, sugar water. Like, this is her. Watch her smile. Watch really closely. Who's to say there's not lying about other things? Well, uh, that's an interesting theory, but it doesn't mean anything. The other guys were like, ugh, went through seven stages of grief. It was so hard. Like, what the fuck? You didn't cheat on you fucking just Why are you so dramatic? Yeah, they were, bro, this was, blow that thing was blown way out of proportion. 100%. The fuck? Watch, watch her smile. There's no reason not to be able to nail this one. Ew. Everybody else? Look at it. Move around. Look how our smile moves. Not L take. What's an L take about that? Come up and taste, please. The contestants must attempt to- like, I don't think cheating is good. I think cheating is fucking stupid. But like, if, if someone cheats on their wife and they make a YouTube videos, like what does that have to do with the YouTube video? Is all I'm saying. Identify all 29 ingredients of Whitney's crispy catfish dish by looking and Stop tasting alone. There will Skin be no walker, recipe to no follow. No joke, War. And the goal is to create an exact replica of the original. Look at every element on that plate and memorize it. I eat with my eyes and I eat with my nose as well as my mouth. Eat with my ass. And as I was tasting, I had every layer of like power The like, only thing that, that worries me about that dish is her slaw, because I know there's a lot of ingredients in there and I cannot figure out what that green thing is. Like, I, I've been cheated on. I don't fuck with cheaters, but then again, I don't give a fuck about other people's relationships, so I only tend to, like, not care about, like, others' interpersonal relationships. Unless it's, like, uh, like, it's cheating and... Cheating's not illegal, and it's not exactly abusive. Like, it's mentally abusive and, and me me emotionally traumatic. It's not like, you know, I don't think your marriage should really affect your job unless something crazy, conflict of interest marriage. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know much about it. I, only, like, I, I didn't look much in the drama at all, so the only thing I cheat on is Tess. Nice. No clue. In the tartar sauce, I feel like tartar a sauce. bitey flavor, and I can't put my finger on it. Ew, Whitney, she's still back there smiling. Before you go, please kick this elimination challenge off, please. Contestants, you have 60 minutes to perfect this dish, and your time starts now. Off you time go. starts now. Yeehaw, get. Go on, the get you little doggies. only have one final trip to the pantry to replicate everything in the dish. Give a nice little side piece. One missed ingredient He's before could send him somebody home. Dude, if you think about it, cheating, him cheating is kind of based, bro. He's got hella bitches, bro. Everyone's always like, you don't get no bitches. Bro, he did get bitches. And look, and then you guys shit on him for it. <laughs> you guys shit on him for getting bitches. Like, what do you want him to do? <laughs> the odds of any of us getting everything perfect are pretty slim. I'm so jealous of Jennifer right now. She has a basket full of everything that's correct. And I have no idea what I'm getting. I picked the catfish because I think a lot of people are going to miss a lot of components. Just so like Carrie Underwood. Off. You got a lot of different flavor profiles in there that you have to nail in order to get it right. The six ingredients in Whitney's slaw are purple really cabbage, nice. carrots, apple, jalapeno, pecans, Jalapeno. And Brussels sprouts. 
I don't like jalapenos. I've got a really good palate. I'm hoping that what I tasted, I can recreate. And I think I have everything. Down. I think I'm good on the coleslaw. Okay, Coleslaw's going to be where I shine. Go lay down. Right now. You'll get in bed. The trickiest part of today is going to be replicating her slaw. Got a lot of ingredients in there. Just going to do my best, see if I can do it. You guys like coleslaw? I don't like catfish. It looks like a cat. I don't know anything about southern food. In America, I know southern food in Italy. I'm gonna be like a fish out of the water. I'm feeling all right. Doing pretty good. I gotta keep it simple the way I taste no. it. Make sure to not do too much of me in this. 45 minutes to go. Taste them. Think back to the original taste from that plate. We've never asked them to replicate anything before. So right. today is about taste and then make. Mm -hmm. But first ever vegetarian exactly challenge say no and then a replication challenge. I, like I think slaw. we're really kind of taking it to another level. And yeah. We're going to really be able to discern who's slaw. playing the A game. <laughs> it's it's a serve. elimination test. And somebody is going home. Really the only foods I don't like are black olives, mushrooms, and pickles. The Never showed the black Never noodle mouth. Never awesome to replicate I've kind of noticed that. We're going to really be able to discern who's playing the A game. Like, he's like, he's quiet. He never talks. He never gets his own moment in the room to say anything. He ain't say a word. Maybe he's got nothing to say. Hey, maybe he's just quiet. That's true. Maybe he's got a lot on his mind. You know? Got it too many times. In this elimination challenge, the goal is to replicate a dish of last season's just, Master Chef winner. just show him, like, oh, yeah, look, we're culturally diverse, you know? Not the theatrics. Jennifer was given all the ingredients needed, while the other 12 home cooks have to guess. Right, Jennifer. Hi, Chef. How are you doing? Excellent, thank Huge you. Huge advantage coming into this elimination test. You had time with Whitney. Yes. Are you going to nail the dish? I believe I am. Yes, Chef. Okay, good. Think it went in that tartare, and also that final touch of the presentation. That's like fine. shit. Yes. What did she just try? Like some cabbage? Like there's nothing on that. She just like tried a piece of cabbage. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. crucial. Alejandra. Hello, chef. You think you figured out what's in this slaw? I believe there is red cabbage, green cabbage, carrots, uh, either jalapenos or bell peppers. I have both. Crushed walnuts and then uh, vinaigrette. Walnuts? I was in the top three for the mystery box. And I got validation, I would not eat but that I still shit. haven't won a challenge. I want to be the. <laughs> the the man with her mouth. I know fish. Fish knows me. This is an easy one, one for me. Fried fish, coleslaw, it's a sign sauce. for Gordon. So, <laughs> eat that like once a week back home. I'm gonna show them that I might have made a few mistakes of the vegetarian challenge, but uh, I'm gonna come back and kick some ass. I just I don't for like Gordo. Christian style. <laughs> He's just arrogant. One of us. Why are they shitting on Christian all of a sudden? They were all cool with Christian until Max left. Missy Master Chef work is so land. I'm sorry, Jolie. We missed you too. Dude, this doesn't make any fucking sense. They everyone liked Christian until Max left. Now they're shitting on him. This is gonna be the Master Chef. And uh Wait, was that Esther shitting on him? She's the racist one. She's the one who hates white people. It all makes sense. It's gonna be me. Jenny Kelly. Damn. Are you struggling here a little bit? A little bit, yeah. yeah. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm a little embarrassed to say that I'm not very familiar with how to fry food. All of this Subjoli. is the first for me. Wait, you've never had fried food? Red flag. A lot of people mistake the jalapeno for green pepper, green bell, bell pepper, pepper, which wow. is surprising to me. Yeah. Likewise, a lot of individuals mistook the Brussels sprouts for the cabbage. Also, Ow. the catfish. Do you think they got the cornmeal as well? Because they got flour mm, and cornmeal. I don't know. Then the egg wash, then the breadcrumbs. I think that a lot of people miss that. You're people. actually fucking wild. Thank and you so goddamn much. They're deep fry the fish. They're so guys, for real, you guys are fucking gone brazy today. Thank you guys for all the fucking subs, all the fucking bits. Love you guys. Boom, but clot. Thank you so much, Jolie. Thank you, thank you. Some yeah. people who are still not let's sure love, if it's a pan fry or a deep fry. We're looking for a shallow fry. Right? Shallow fry. Shallow fry. Crispy. Yeah. Crispy. Yeah. It honestly looks, doesn't look that I'm bad. I'm trying different breading techniques to try to get as close you as I can. You guys like fish sticks? To Whitney's, so I cut off some pieces at the end and I'm gonna try it one way and try it another way. My fish sounds so good right now. Good, I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> I got some uh, pesto uh, pasta in the fridge. I'm gonna eat after stream. You like fish sticks? Oh uh, yeah, kind of. Wait, what are you trying to do? Set a goal on fire? 
Oh, Turn off the shit. Gas. Be very, very careful, OK? Very, very careful. If you light that up now, we're going to get in flames. This killed everyone. Got him. Oh, shit. Be careful with that hot oil, please. Very oh, careful. Oh, shit. Dude, I remember I saw this vid. We were I, we watched it on stream, but that guy who's like had the fuck. He was like trying to like make his own fucking chicken or French fries or something. He had like that big pot. It was a giant pot full of oil. He had way too much oil for the amount of fries he's making. But he put it in there and they set on fire. And then he took he took a fucking big bucket of water and, and dipped the water in it. And it, you guys remember that shit? You guys seen that video? Place going to blow up. The fish sticks can contain endangered sharks. Good. I'm the top of the fucking food chain. Not no fucking shark. Get out of here, pussy ass shark. Bruh, what the fuck? I like fish hooks though. Are you gay fish? Gay fish? 15 oh, minutes to go. Good one. You should now be thinking of cooking that catfish. Brian catfish you can't put out an oil fire really with water. Fish. The trick is to get a nice, perfectly even brown crust, but still have the fish cooked all the way through. Esther, how are you feeling? I'm doing okay. Catfish, strong point, weak point? I am confident in the flavor behind it. I wish I got to taste it a little bit more, get the texture in there. Good luck. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad, but... How these dishes are going to look are important. The cool. position of the slaw, the catfish... You got to use a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? Or you got to use some salt. God damn, well like a fucking a moron. Ugh. I'm going to try to mash the best that I can, but... Don't be surprised if on the bottom three today. Oh, mamma mia. Deep fried to perfection. Okay, now, now Christian's starting to become kind of cringe. I don't know how to do it. Roundy, roundy thingy. Last two Love minutes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Should look just like Whitney's, guys. 45 seconds to go. I can't get this. Guys, got what's the best fried chicken fast food? Honestly, mine was Zaxby's and Chick-fil-A until I tried Cane's when I was in Texas. And Cane's is my number one now. I only had Popeye's chicken once. I didn't like it. Freak, what's that cone thing called? Oh, 10, scone? 9, 8, 7, 6, I don't like five, Raising Cane's either. Four, I said I do three, like it. It's my favorite. 2, 1, and my stop. Pop Zaxby's little. Zaxby's working there, maybe he made it. Should look just like, like Whitney's, guys. The elimination yeah, challenge is to Whitney's. recreate Whitney Miller's crispy Base. catfish in just one hour. Ten, nine. They must replicate every aspect, including the coleslaw and dill tartar sauce. Five, four, three, two. You don't know anything, one. JK. Stop. My favorite is some random plays. Jennifer, you have a huge the best advantage ones. coming into this elimination test. The random hole in the walls. Mirror image. Like the like the non-franchise shit. Let's go, please. Are you talking to Jennifer little boy? A basket of Be all careful, Jake. You have to get two plus two. That were needed to might flare up. Like a sick again. If you're medical you condition. You should not be getting upset like that. In your hands. Calm down. The plating is so bad now. Hold me back. Your medical condition is holding you back. It's not me. Not chat. So the acidic. Listen, if you guys are gonna height shame me, sort of call me little, call me short, I'm coming back now. Fuck that shit. Fight. I have to hold you down. We're fighting. You guys body shame me. Honestly, chat, if Vinna comes in here and calls me short, like, like, is that not a form of body shaming? Like, what if I was like, well, you're a fat bitch. Like, I'm not saying I would say that. I'm not saying she is. But, like, it, would that be justified? You're short. Because you know how she always calls me short every time she sees me. Like, would that be justified? I'm not, I would never do that. And I don't think Vinna's fat for the record. She's a very pretty woman, great shape. But if I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I was thinking about that just now. Interesting. The slaw has a great acidity to it. It's really nice. Slaw. Uh, I think the sweet potato fries could have been done. Nice. They're a little greasy. It's like four of them. It depends on those. So not sure if it's in the top, but like it's four fries. definitely far away from the bottom. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. As soon as I stepped away, I was like, did okay, I... you did well. You did well. There's no way I'm going home today. Absolutely no way. Now that Jennifer, Jennifer has gotten things off to a good start. Oh, my God. Bro, she looks like a purge mask right here. Watch. Absolutely no way. She's now gnashing. That Jennifer has got... Oh, my God. Gotten things off to... What kind of smile is this?
She was made in a government lab. No way this person is real. To a good start. Let's go, Christian. Slowly closes the her other mouth. home cooks catfish do as well. Mr. New England, Mr. Fisherman, will you be as defensive or can you take that on the shoulders now? I hope I can the redeem myself. Goodbye, so, the coating, what's in there? Uh, a little bit of regular breadcrumb mixed Bro, with. The last girl made like four french fries and he's got a whole fucking stack. Thank you. Thighs. You good? The coating, how you seasoned that. Absolutely spot on. Let's go. Perfection. Thank you. File movie actor. Right. Help. Esther, let's go. What'd you do for the mustard? It's coated with buttermilk flour and Esther's milk. crispy catfish. Great, great taste, great texture. And the seasoning's there. Damn, she did pretty good for being racist. Good job. Pretty good for a Can you bring your plate for us to taste, please? Oh, boom, the plate. Tell me about the fish. How did you coat it? I coated it with flour, eggs, and panko. W for the racist, unfortunately. Rare W. Rare racist W. Very good. Thank you, chef. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like I finally accomplished something good. I wanted to hear something from that, that I can actually make some Yeah, Giuseppe, food. Giuseppe's been quiet here recently. He's not been popping off. Racism be damned, the woman can cook. Jesus, fuck. Then can you see automated messages? Uh, not unless I minimize this look in my uh, Twitch studio. Alejandra, let's go, please. Of the 29 ingredients in Whitney's dish, Egg. Alejandra missed just five, but added some of her own. Okay, describe uh -oh. the dish, please. For the catfish, I bred it first in the flour, then egg, then the breadcrumbs. There's a couple of them just skating the by. Yeah, there's like three of them that are quiet and they just have decent mid meals and they just keep going through. And there's people that have really good ones and really bad ones. And those are the ones I feel like we're seeing more of. The really good ones, really bad ones. And like the mid, the mid ones are just getting through. I actually use very, very finely minced garlic. Stop. Raw garlic. What? In a dill tartare. Did you taste garlic? Raw garlic. In but which just skating by. I tasted a flavor that I could not identify. It definitely wasn't garlic. God damn. Done fucked up. Wow. I'm like, wow, that's Rest. ass. I think she had something to drink. Yeah. Oh, I need something to drink. That was a very big technical error, raw garlic. You realize I'm that? Back. I... You totally missed the topping. So high Bob. to so low. In one day. Damn. Rip. That. What happened? She put garlic in her catfish. So far in Master Oh, and she was doing so well. Based on what I've just tasted, maybe you're last. Damn, Gordo. Look at her face. Chat when Sin pulls his cock out. I'm just like crushed. What up, Kelpsy? It's Came so in at a great time. Hey, she's got some big melons. Let's go. A dish could make or break someone, literally. How disappointed he is. My goodness. It's, uh, it's tough. I said that. A full spice really rack, tough. if you will. Okay, Jerry. <laughs> Good one. God damn, you guys are funny tonight. Chat's on one tonight. I'll say that. You guys are done, done well with the jokes I tonight. I did in breadcrumbs with a tiny bit of cornmeal, some seasoning. I was exam, yeah, Kelpsy. Tell I us. don't fry much at home, so I don't have much experience working like this. The problem that you get is you've got this this flaky, delicate oh, kind of fish. That breading sucks. That's like that's like when you buy frozen chi like chicken nuggets and shit. That's always funny. The fuck you mean? And then all of this just heaviness just coating the top. It, it just doesn't know justice. You the fish is cooked. Well, the you fail, not. never come back, and the slaw never is shit that little ass around here again. Just a, a pretty bad dish. You got an A in my book. That coming off there is like sort if of. You don't get an like A, skin, actually. I'm gonna thank you. Crap and it's bland and it's oily. You seriously missed the trick. Come on, guys. The name of the game was the exact replica. 
That's you ever go back lame. to a restaurant where you have a great Levation. dish and it's completely different the next time? Be it's the most disappointing thing you can Pretty ever corny. experience. Looks like I'm failing. Okay, Adrian, okay, okay. never go. mind. My plating I can't, is wrong. I can't do anything I'm supposed in here. to plate it the way Whitney plates it. There's nothing I can do. Bucks. I'm just gonna have to Pretty take corny. it. What happened? I was so caught up in making sure that it tasted right that the plating just. I'm over here trying to motivate you and you're being horny. Nice. No, but no joke, I probably failed. If you failed, I, you have to like. So obviously another you know, contestant who refuses to follow direction, I don't really understand. Good luck. If this was MasterChef Kelpsy, there wouldn't be a next time. You didn't do a lot of things. God Fortnite player 42. Thank you for the follow. Nice. That's a good one, bro. An Among Us cock. <laughs> Dude, maybe your dad won't beat the shit out of you tonight because he finally got some attention from me. <laughs> I think we were very clear. So funny. It's a contest, high stakes, big prize. Your anxiety is overcoming you right now. You have no how friends. These things can go so wrong. It hurts, I know. You're lonely. Don't worry. I'll give you some attention. It's okay. I'm sorry your parents don't give it to you or any women. Let me win this contest. Uh, sucks to be you, man. Right, you I feel bad this. for you. Just don't kill here, yourself, like please. I know you're depressed fish. and suicidal. Take please don't go anywhere. Fish, Live, put it breathe. Over it. You take the tartar sauce, put it in the front. I do perfect in them. Put some fries I believe on the you. side, right? Voila. Is yeah, he so was way too extra. Freaking difficult to understand that concept. Please get degrees. True. I mean. As long Tonight's as you pass, you pass. Challenge was All that really matters. Was to replicate a crispy catfish entree, and Adrian has made some yeah, serious right mistakes. I just don't what understand how these things. Bald head hoe. Because, because, dude, listen, listen, chat. People literally like they like their parents hate them. Like, they, like, dude, this God Fortnite player is a real person. He's sitting in his room. He's like, I gotta find a Twitch streamer so I can I can copy and paste this thing I found on fucking the internet. Oh my god, dude, I can get attention. Oh. Maybe this will be enough not to kill myself tonight. I wanted to see an Among Us cock. Yeah, bro, we're all gay as fuck in here. Dude, we all love cock. We all love big cock. You just did us a favor. Top, it's quite large. Kind of reminds me of my own. Things can go so wrong. Let me uh -oh. win this contest for you. All right, if you take this, put it here, like it was on Whitney's dish. Ew, use his hands. Put some fries on the side, right? The basement Voila. is 12. Is that so? Imagine you had the Preston 12. To understand that concept? I'm afraid mm -hmm. that this hey, might be my last opportunity cooking in the Master Chef kitchen. Damn, he fucked up hard. Right, Jenny, let's go. It's been pretty dark in the Master Chef kitchen the last few minutes. I'm hoping that I'll brighten up the judges' you day. You just flipped the bowl. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He said, "You cook fish often?" No, it's my first time to fry fish. First time frying fish. Jenny's so cute. He's so fuckable. Wow. Never mind. It's so salty. If you're a woman, you can't cook. Not the texture on the slaw. It looks like somebody pre-chewed it. Ew. We asked you Earth to man. duplicate you the say? dish. Nothing. Create something that at least looked like. Nothing important. You know, this looks like, you know, it, it's, I don't even know what to say. Damn. I didn't think anyone could match. I think I, mean, I know who's going home. Or Derek. Disgusting. Damn! It looks pretty sad. I didn't think that the dish was going to be um, so wrong. Yeah, I know who chewed it. Atmosphere, what the fuck? The objective was to copy, <laughs> not to reinvent, <laughs> not to dissect, not to reposition on a <laughs> oblong plate, not to show as a garlic tartar sauce. Wow. They didn't, they didn't fuck Worst up. Worst brutal day in the competition thus far. Seeing everyone just slaughtered. Get a new one. Scattered around on the floor is really incredibly disheartening. Ben, stop. Everyone fucked up. Do we see the black guy's food for once or not? Yeah, I haven't seen the black guy's food or like him say anything, do anything in a hot minute. The cabbage, carrot, apple, toasted pecans, and it's dressed with apple cider vinegar and a bit of honey. Ew, there's walnuts in it. Why don't you cook like this all the time?
Ew, food came out of his mouth. Would you eat crispy catfish? Yeah, of course. He literally got no green screen time. No screen time. Why don't you cook like this all the- Ew, the food. You probably spit Die. all over Ben. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Delicious. You really nailed it. Congratulations. God, I love Joe. I love his enthusiasm. Fine. Finally, his dedication to entertainment. Finally, I've done something. What if he what if he spit it out and it landed on his face? It was like sticking to Ben's lip. He's like, <laughs> uncheck. We do a slow mo. Ew. Joe is so weird, man. I like it though. It's kind of kind of endearing. Thing that doesn't make them want to vomit. What what planet have I landed on? Look, okay. Papa Jowl. Papa Jowl. One person. No, it's too late. Eliminated. Papa Jowl. He's not like other judges. <laughs> there were. He's not like other Italians. Two Quirky. dishes that really stood out. Bro, you know Jordan. You know Joe's mad Christian horny, bro. And Ben Starr. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder if Susie's gonna that bitch about someone Boogie doing better than her. We'll be team captains in the next challenge. Apparently, Ben nailed it too. Good for Wait. him. Wait, but you better challenge. Apparently. He's a stay-at-home dad? Bruh. Ladies, you might want to stay at home dad. I'm down to be a stay-at-home dad. I don't have to work. I'll stay home. You guys, you might want to take care of me. You might want to you might want to be the breadwinner. Yikes, lucky. No. To say I wish I was one of the judges would let out an earthly scream and not explain to everyone and act normal to the contestants confused. The Joe scream, I realize that's not what I wanted. I'll be the breadwinner. That's so hot. That's what I'm saying, dude. Listen, I'm I'm all about like you know, getting rid of ginger rolls. Wait, it was a yes to the question. Only Ben nailed it too. Good for him, but you better watch out because I'm going to kick his ass. Bum, 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 bum. I have a Is it your bo boyfriend? Comes to like, like a claymore so or something? You better watch it because I am going <laughs> to. I almost cussed. <laughs> you better watch it because I. What was he going to say? Was going he going to say like a slur? <laughs> going down. I'll bring the money. Well, okay. with how you've told me about your grades and failing, I don't think you're going to get that major, but. I don't know. I can literally make video games. Okay. Bruh, then make me one. Make me a Minecraft sex mod right now. We had three rock bottom I want to be able dishes. to bang in Minecraft. The first one belongs to... She knows she's in trouble. And it wasn't just the plating, let me tell you that. It was the taste combined. Uh -huh. I don't know. I saw a picture draft of her of her boyfriend with a sword. Our second cook that's up for elimination. It's like a dream sin. Look, backup plan could be a, a couple's this only fans. Good. I know they're both really good cooks. Brrr. If I get called up now, there's a really good chance I'm going home. I hate Claymore. Come on, Rain. The anime? The third cook who is up for elimination today. Boom, but Claude. Alejandro. Board fought at the Renaissance Fair. Last time, me and my my best one of my guy friends sword fought. He said I was gay. So good for you guys. What up, Puff? So I was in the top three, and now I'm in the bottom three, and I don't want to be here. We didn't expect to see any of you three here, Alejandra. One ingredient that's never inside a tartar sauce, and that is garlic. I mean, he's four fault you, so he's also gay. Jenny, you What's up, Zales? I missed your face. In a way that you were sort of missed it too. Out your comfort zone. Word fault. And not in tune. Yeah, you know what I mean. Adrian, we put your food on Whitney's plate, and it's still like all gray rat. I don't know that is dreadful. Is that a gay? Is that something that I, a gay person would know? Damn. Crap. Jenny, please step forward. I think Jenny's going home. Was that really you at your best? Cross streams. No, chef. Okay, now who's being gross? Can sword fight and not be gay? Your time is done. <laughs> hey, Master, please take off your apron and place it on your bench. Wait, what? That was so that was so anticlimactic. Bro, wait, what? There was no like wait, what? This mighty, huh? That was so, what? That was like the worst reveal ever, Gordon. No debate, no waiting, no like, like two of you step forward, Ben, go sit down. You've got lucky or whatever. That happened quick. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Damn. Did he fall asleep? So Probably. Thank you. Thank you. What else would it mean? 
Keep cooking. Fighting with my cock. I'll follow that heart. Thank you, but oh. Okay. And then beating another man black I, and blue. I have a bright future. With my meat. I'm not done getting better. And the great thing about cooking but, uh, is really. So, yeah, yeah. Gord, dude, you could tell this was like a, a long day of filming. Gordon was ready to go home. You guys love getting jebated. Yeah, it's like a sexual thing for me at this point. Time to learn. Damn, Adrian, son. Alejandra. Take both your aprons. You kiss. Back to your benches. You're staying in MasterChef. So edging, Get a grip, basically. Both of you, quickly. A very difficult. That's what saying. No, I don't day. edge. I come. I just came. There's only 12 of you left. Yeah. And now I'm to touch myself. Pull That's yourselves together. What Gordon does to me. Good night. Oh, there's another the one. Damn, Gordon. Two in a row. Let's go. Oh, so am I. Yeah. Next time on Master Chef. Must be nice. Be Must be nice. Hollywood party. Gotta right be like here. My butt. The cooks face the fury of Chef Ramsay. I want that mess cleaned up. Gordon Ramsay has Love lost technology. his mind. That is the worst dish I've ever seen in Master Chef. That's where the and milk on top comes of from. That, that is the worst dish no. I've ever left my kitchen. And stupid. No. At least one Wait, more home cooked stream will come to an end. Oh. And stupid. Cake. At least one. What the fuck was that? Is she just more home cooked? Debating screen. also involves a serious twist or surprise at some point. Milk will come to an end, bro. Victoria's talking about get better emotes. I have the milk emote. I have the best emote on Twitch. Milk. Come on now. Come on, man. Feel like that. If you watch this on YouTube, I bet you were you were just in for one hell of a ride. That was probably the weirdest MasterChef episode we've ever watched because of all the weird ass shit we were talking about. But I appreciate you nonetheless. Like and subscribe. Check my other content if you don't want to be a pussy. Love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Bye now. Take it easy. Okay. It's facts. I don't see milk anywhere else. Exactly. Mother's milk. Dick milk. No, mother's milk. Add your chibis to the emotes. Listen, okay? My emote slots are full. I'm getting close to getting more emotes, all right? I need to get two th 2K followers or some shit. I, I, I gotta achieve something. I don't remember what it was. Um, guys, go watch my YouTube video. Boom, but this is my second channel chat. If you guys are new, guys, go check out my second channel. I'm sure you'd, you're sure you'd love it. Second channel right here. Videos every single day, sometimes two a day. Super long, great to play in the background. Here's me when I was famous and on a fucking YouTube show. But you don't use BTTV? No, I create my own. I'm gonna go sub, thank you. And then I also have my main channel. I don't post my main channel as much um, because I'm so busy, but I have a main channel video coming soon.